are you doing? What are you doing, come on? You never let a cigar that way. Do it to shadow smokers, legion fun, family of smoke. Rocking with Phoenix Fresh Rhymes, this strong you know. About to break it off with the illest of crews. Led by the man Tony Wang, making his vision come true. Now let me take you on a ride. We got love for cigars from the east to the west, only the brightest of stars. Our screen in the scene, little guy with the shop. Shadow gazing around, you know where they gonna stop. Cigar mechanic to panic when he's repping his brand. Well, that's Cadillo and more, smooth as sticks in the land. Hashimoto's around, jumping live in the chats. Asian orange and more. His button's famous and fat. Cigars, pipes, whiskey, coffee, and more. Turbo jetting around, Tim with the dopest of pours. What's that, huh? One wheel and reviews. Martin in the house, sure in the latest smoke news. Need to pick me up? Get to Southeast US. Bob and Chief in the mix, you know what they say, ain't God bless. We got that journey, voyage, private blends with the crew. Celebrating with coins, repping that dope swag too. Now I'm about to sign off, you know it's time for that audit. Light up the group with my post, you know I'll rock it and sock it. But remember y'all, Legion, it lives with a passion. From a man in the shadows, ayo, the source house assassin. So cut it, light it, love the smoke from your region. After all, we connect, it's through the power of Legion. Hey guys, Tony the source house assassin. I hope the microphone is not way too loud. I had to replug in everything. Uh, and, and literally try to figure out if things are working. So let me explain what happened. Um, uh, I went to Pennsylvania, right, for the meet. And during that day, we have storm. And the storm might have a lightning that hit a power box somewhere near my house and actually damaged some of the electronics. So more story to that after this but let's choose a cigar to smoke i hope everybody had a good day and, and you know good sunday and so we have uh of sherry we have carlos we have val we have michael michael are you jumping out or what and uh we have sergio joe greg it was nice to meet greg actually and um uh and mark right so been smoking all a cigar all day. I mean, you can do it all night too. You can do it all night too. Okay, let me give you the Lenka. Lenka. I'll, I'll, I'll just throw in the mod chat. So it, it's in the mod chat. All right, anyways. So, hey, Brian. You know, surprisingly, here's the thing. Yes, for those people that went to the meet, they would know that my wife want to eat mochi donut. So I was rushing down, how I ass, driving as quick as I can through the traffic, try to pick up that before I get home. However, however, I didn't make it. I, I got there and they were about to close. I went in there, all the stores already closed except the market, which is kicking me out already. And I went to my car, texting my, my, my wife, and then Nick, somebody knocked on my window. I look over, it was Brian. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Uh, anyways, so here's some cigar that I picked up during the meet, and I wanted to use to see which guys, which one you guys rather hear my opinion on. Okay, first one we have the the Delorium, Delorium by Diesel, which is kind of strong. Then we have the really tiny brother of the leaf, and then. We have the new Caldwell. Um, this is trouble. Okay. And then we have this the the, the Waller Cohiba Waller one, which literally I was there and I overlooked this one. And everybody said, like, "Did you get pick up the Cohiba Waller?" I said, "What? What are you talking about?" And I went back in and buy it. Um, What's like? I forgot how much it was. It like twenty bucks or something like that. But yeah, which one do you guys want to hear my opinion for? Let me know. Yeah, I mean, Brian says he knew. I, I went in and came out, and it was there. I was like, holy shit. And I thought I was going at like, crazy speed or something like that. I was going at it. The traffic and everything, I was going at it. And uh, But, I, you know, I didn't have it. I made it home. Uh, but it's really nice because my wife knew I was coming home, so she had the food, and she went out and buy me drinks already. So I got today all set. And people were talking about surge protectors. Now, I everything that I plug has a surge protector on it but it does not mean you will not damage your electronics okay a certain surge it will cut off 
but a every surge protector have a different rating and uh, only cut off a specific amount of electronic. Uh, so my microwave right now, you know the part where it shows time and number? Where the six is, it's missing a line. So like, you know, like every number, like a seven, we're missing the bottom, or four, we're missing the bottom. So that one pixel is gone. Uh, that's bad. Uh, my stove, which is gas stove, but it has this igniter. And that is not on a surge protector. Now uh, it's ticking. The whole time is thinking that it needs you to start a fire. It's ticking the whole time. So the igniter is trying to ignite the whole time. It does not stop. So I had to unplug it uh, and, and figure out what we're going to replace. One of my surge protector totally fried. Uh, the UPS that I have, the, the uninterruptible battery uh, plug, literally the battery was fried. So uh, um, it was throwing off alarm because the, the battery cannot be charged. It's totally empty. That's fried. So, <clears throat> I don't know what else is fried. Computer didn't fry, which is nice because all the computer is on actually a very high grade power surge protector. The camera is okay because uh, um, actually I brought the camera with me. Uh, if you're at the event, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, literally, nobody knows how to operate a camera, including me. <laughs> nobody knows how to use an actual camera. So, Hashimoto, I already put the links up in the, in the, in the uh, mod chat if you want to jump out. So, let me know which one you guys want to see. Here. Make it easy, okay? You want to see Cohiba? Type the number one. If you want to see the Delorium, type the number two. All right? If you want to see the Blarder of the Lave, type the number three. And if you want to see This is Trouble, type the number four. Okay, we have one for one, two ones, two ones, two one, one four, three one, one four, three one, two four, one threes, and da, 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 da. so far number one is winning. Oh, number one and number four tied, and let's see, one two three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We should have three more vote, if anything. Three more vote. Let's see what else. Oh, number four twice. Oh, okay, number four leading right now between number four and number one. Number four is leading right now. Oh, now it's a tie. Now it's a tie. Somebody give me a tiebreaker. Somebody give me a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Come on. No? Nada? Uh oh. Alright, hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Before you say anything. I know I know the microphone is not on. So default communication audio. No. No, 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 no. So, microphone, speaker, there we go. Now I'll try it. What's up, gents? There we go. So, somebody didn't shave for a couple of days, I can see. Yeah, boy, look at that shit. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit. Maybe that's why I dropped my glass, damn it. I know, right? When you, when you play rough, you know, that's what happens, so... <laughs> Uh, let's see, um, Carlos said he voted twice. Let me see. Where is he? I didn't even see. Uh, he once, once, and no, that's once. Let's see what one, 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 one. Carlos four. No, I only see one Carlos, so it's one. Uh, nothing for two and go with two. Uh, no. So I, uh, what do you think? Should I go with the Cohiba or should I go with the This Is Trouble? Hey, Christina. I didn't see. I didn't see what you had going on there. Right now is the tie between Cohiba Wellers, the Wellers one, and uh, the Carl Wells, this is trouble. I'm going to have to go with my gut, man, Caldwell. Caldwell? All right, the tiebreaker, go with Caldwell. Okay, let's do this. I feel like that's got to be a strong cigar, too, so. Yeah. 
but I don't know how long I could stay on. I got people over. <laughs> I Take snuck out. out to the garage. Take them out. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So yeah, we'll, we'll go with we'll go with the uh, with the car well. You know, that doesn't mean I won't do. I mean, I I, I won't do the welder. I mean, it just means that that's gonna be the next video. That's all. <laughs> All right, so. Oh wow. Smells uh, very cedary and coffee, a little bit of spice, and a little bit of old books. A pleasing one. Old book, pleasing old book. Well, Joe, I think you can. We can always buy it online, right? So. I mean, after all, it is our store, and they have plenty. Is, I'm pretty sure. Is it like a mystery old book, or is it like a... like like a murder mystery old book? <laughs> yeah, because somebody murdered my glass, bro. How, how ah. did you break it? Did you like you no? Know, pick it up and I was, slipped. I was hauling it downstairs. Both I washed both of them because me and Josh Stocks has had a little cigar today, uh -huh. and. I was going downstairs and I dropped one dude and it hit, fit, fell on my tile and the base, the bottom of the cup hit and it didn't break. But as soon as it tipped over and flipped over, it yeah. just shattered. That thing man. is strong. Like, so to, to, to break it, you know, it had to have multiple hits in a row. So Yes. Yeah. Well, it took multiple hits to break it and it did and it went everywhere. Yeah. Well, I got more, so. Thank God. I was like, thank God Tony's got more. I'm yeah, need three more. I got more, yes. Anyway, so, let's light this up. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I mean, like, I'm just testing one electronic after another to try to find out which one the, the lightning has destroyed. Uh, but, yeah, my outdoor uh, umbrella for the, the, the deck is broken. Uh, uh Let's see, my power plugs are broken, my microwaves are broken, my stove is broken. Uh, yeah, what the hell? The, yeah. The storm was bad, basically. We had a bad storm. Damn, so the wife was at home with no... Uh... Yeah, she's like, everything had to break when you're not home. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, honey, I, I only gone for one day. It's okay. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Yeah. Today we're outside cutting down some trees because the the storm did some did its numbers. Okay. Spice, barnyard, like a grain, like a kind of like a like malt grain, coffee. I would say a little bit of leather. Very flavorful. There are a little bit of like like a like a leafy green leafy flavor to it. A lot of pepper at the nose. Yeah, like a roasted coffee flavor as well. Wow, it's a lot of pepper. It's a lot of pepper. My nose is dying right now. Uh, all the mirrors is, uh, did I go to, uh, like I said, I, I went to the Asian store, in, not in time. They were closed. Uh, yeah, she, she's totally okay. She's just annoyed that she woke up in the morning and everything was broken. So, uh, smoked the Hoya Red earlier. You know, I don't know. This weekend might be like a, like a jinx weekend, right? Cause my, did you guys hear Michael lost his wallet? He did find no it, way. But, but he lost his wallet at the event. Oh shit! They did find it though. I, I think this afternoon he said he uh, they found it. So. Oh wow. But still, I mean, how do you lose a wallet like that? <laughs> right. So I was asking like, where did you find your wallet? I rent with the random guy or random woman? Somebody's room, your room, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Don't say that. You never know, right? You never know. Like, like if I lose my wallet, I'm like. They have been to any female's room? Nope. They have been to any guy's room? Hope not. You know, and they just keep counting down where I was. 
Uh, most everyone like the box press so far. That's the new Laranja is so good. Maybe not for you, Tony. It's spicy all the way through. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it too spicy. I don't like too spicy. But yeah, we'll figure it out. He always paying a lot of my reason as well. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. I always um depends where I go. If I go where I trust, I know I'll be okay. I have my wallet right touching my butt. I literally will bouch out. Oh, you cannot tell. You can. You can tell that's my ass plus my wallet. That's you know because I always feel like something's touching my ass because my wallet is always there, right? But if I go where I don't trust, you will see me wear trench coat and that my wallet will be inside my trench coat button. So the only way to take it is if you grab my trench coat and run. But I don't really bring caches, you know. So you know in in. Other than the cards, uh, I'm, I'm not too worried about the cards. So, so how the hell did security find it in the trash? Maybe a pickpocket tried to get the uh, money out of it, but he said there was five bucks in there. You sure you're not drunk enough to throw them yourself? <laughs> I don't know. Trash. That's weird. Somebody must yeah. be pranking, pranking you then. Like you're and drunk. Security. Then. I mean, why is security digging in the trash? Right, right. Why was why was security <laughs> digging the trash? I literally think the security took it and then didn't want to say he took it. Yeah. So I think security probably found it, but he didn't want to say he he had it and didn't tell you. But then, like, since you reported right. it, you know, he had it. So, yeah, uh, I don't do purse. I still got uh, as well. Yeah, I always have my back pocket majority of the time because, you know, like I said, I can feel it when I sit down. I know something's there. When I stand up, I know something's there. You know, how can you not know if somebody's touching your ass the whole time? I wouldn't. So, <laughs> yeah, the reason doesn't yeah. matter, right? So long as you get it back. Yeah, I'm glad you got it back, Michael. I'll be in Phoenix next week, guys. So, just to let you know. You'll be where? In Phoenix. Oh, what are you doing there? Uh, just for work, and then I'll uh, be in Texas the week after. So, <laughs> Carlos is going like uh, 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 security is very suspect. I would say Red is very suspect. <laughs> uh, he threw his wallet away on accident when he threw a uh, left over cheeseburger. He threw his wallet away on accident. When he threw away his leftover cheeseburger, did he throw away his leftover cheeseburger? <laughs> Michael doesn't like cheeseburgers, or no, he doesn't like bacon burgers. What? What's wrong with bacon burger? Him and Travis, remember they were talking about bacon. It changes the flavor, and it doesn't. It's not a cheeseburger. No, 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 no. If you wrap the bacon over the steak, it changes the flavor. That's different than the cheese. Right. That bacon burger. Bacon is cooked somewhere else and topped it off. But if you wrap it on the meat, then you change the flavor of the meat. I'll be in Denton, Sergio. I usually meet up with Albert, Martin, Josh, and now uh, who's the new new young guy that's on Discord a lot? Uh, I forgot his name. What? Oh shit! Um, um, you know, hey, Scott, if. If if Michael doesn't like bacon, he just had to go to that restaurant that we were at, the, the best cigar price restaurant, and order their bacon. Their bacon's a freaking beautiful. Like you, it, yes. the bacon is like like a cube. It's like brownie size, and literally come with a, like some sort of glaze over it, and it looks super good. Like if all you want to eat is fat and lard, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Wilson, yeah, I'm not a big bacon fan bacon. either. What? Oh my god! Yeah, I don't like bacon. I like oh sausage, but not bacon. Oh yeah. So Matt, we need to talk about the design for the crossover between Shadow Smoke Legion and uh, and, and Hashimoto Sport. You know, like what element you want on there? We need to talk about that because I talked to a designer, and he's like, "What element is I want in there?" I said, like, "I don't know," and I showed him your logo, and he's like. Other than the English is on it, I don't see any element that I can put it together with the logo. I said, like, oh, yeah, you know what? I'll go talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, we'll have to figure that out. We got to get that done for sure. Yeah. 
I did talk about I, I did um talk to a designer about the the TAO emblem. So literally he I he's like what element do you want? I was like I want TAO. I want orange on a design. And he's like, you know what? You need to tell me the entire story of why you're even making this. Because I have no idea why, like, what you want. <laughs> so I said, well, okay, you know what? This one guy, his name is Hashimoto. He cannot, touch, he cannot taste orange. And because he cannot taste orange, he's being bullied for not being able to taste orange. <laughs> now, because he's been bullied, he decided to start a whole army to go against people who bully him about not being able to taste orange called teen asian orange all right? That's right so he's like okay so let me get this straight this guy cannot touch taste orange what's it had to do with cigar i was like <laughs> Just don't worry about that i said don't worry right. about that you know worry about the coin the the design and then he's like okay so you want a bridge orange and tao and smoke and cigar and i was like oh, that's pretty much it and then he said, I'll talk to you next week. <laughs> yes, Michael. That's the one I took the picture of when I was in, in Vegas the other a uh, couple weeks ago, that TAO. TAO is actually a entertainment lounge group. Believe it or not, my niece works there. My niece works there. I didn't even know about it. I said client relation was something like that. I don't know. But she works there. That's like so weird. What what are the chances? So yeah, they are called the TAO Group, the main company. How? But I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with orange. Just saying. <laughs> they don't know that. Yeah. Well, see, we we're the original. <laughs> That's our secret society. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're working on that. I I hired two different uh, artists to work on that. Both of them were very confused by the story. And both of them were like, I don't know if I want to do this. Right? So one of them is like, you know what? I'm, I know I'm wasting my time. I'm going to make you pay for just the draft. Just the idea. So I said, okay, fine. I'll pay for you just for the ideas. And we'll figure it out. After what? That. Yeah. Because the story sounds so sketchy that people think that you're just fucking with me. <laughs> Sketchy. <laughs> yeah, can you, can you like if you are a designer, I tell you, you know, I want to make something for something called the TAO Teen Asian Orange because the whole backstory about this guy cannot touch, uh, cannot t uh, taste orange. Would you they take this person seriously? <laughs> I would go with it and I would run with it. Right? Oh, he's gonna run with it, but I'm not gonna waste my time. So I'm gonna make you pay for the the the, the draft the idea, and if you want to. In the end, finished product, I will take the, the, the draft, the payment that you made for the draft and, and, and deduct it from the final amount. But if you're just fucking around and pick and run, I'm keeping that right. draft right. amount. Because literally, this guy does not trust me. <laughs> it's like, I, I just like, this story must be fake. You're just making, trying to make me do something and come up with this dumb ass story. Michael, oh my God, bro. Okay, it's not blueberries, it's schnozberries from Willy Wonka. From the Oompa Oompa uh, yeah. shop. Val says, who cares if it sounds sketchy? But there's a lot of people that hire people online. And they'll tell them to do something, to make something, right? And as soon as somebody gives you a draft, an idea, they'll take it and run. And then they'll use that idea for something else. It could be an artist that tries to fill a client's request but could, doesn't have an, an idea. So they will hire another artist, came up with an idea, take the draft, use them as their idea, and then change it up and run. That's why some people, when they hear something sketchy as hell, they're just like, this guy is probably trying to steal an idea or something. So it makes perfect sense. That's why I say, okay, that's fine. Charge me for the draft. Mm. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. So I, I got to go, guys. I don't want to, you know, take off too quick, but I got people inside and I don't want to get in trouble. So. Drag those people over. Drag those people over. <laughs> All right, have a good, good night, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Yep, See bye. ya. So, yeah, yeah, the M button. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, um, talking about Val, uh, I, during the group meet, we had an idea. And the idea was to, 
Was that James' idea? Uh, idea was to have a historian that literally writes some history of the group in somewhere. So that every new person can come in and read the, the history of Shadow Smoke's Legion without having to watch through however amount of episode that we have. Right, just the important parts. Like, you know, nothing like, hey, today Tony took a shit. Uh, the next day Tony took another shit. No. Uh, it, it will be something more of, like, sig significance. Right? So, I think Val, you know, is actually very close to become that historian. So, Val, you know, if you, if you want to write a history of, of Shadow Smokes after you studied it, let me know. <laughs> okay, let me know. We, we might be able to make a page just for that history timeline kind of crap. Send a designer the cigar, he will not taste the orange and it will make sense. You can send them a cigar, doesn't mean they know how to smoke it at all. Yeah, so. Like, yeah, like a timeline, like a, like, a, like a significance, right? You know, like this day, Shadow Smokes Legion was created. This day, Shadow Smokes Legion had a name. This day, Tony is officially known as Soy Sauce I said. I don't know, something like that. Keep in mind, I did mention that I don't think anybody want to do this. <laughs> so, Blind Man's Broth is a Maduro. I got it at Robusto size. Um, the side said, we own the night. The brown band has a like an embossed, this is trouble. Okay. And and it is a Maduro. It says on the side Maduro. So far, yeah. So yeah, it is Scott. I I yeah. I, I just can't remember who told me this. I think it's either James or Scott. So it was Scott. Yeah, he mentioned it while I was smoking uh, before anybody arrived. And I thought it was an idea, but I did say I don't think anybody want to do it because it's a lot of work. But yeah, since Val is studying it, um, you know, we'll talk about Val. All right, who's on now? Hello. Ah. Yeah, once you write it out, I guess... Um, We'll figure out a place to put it. I don't know. So, this is like a medium, medium plus stick. If it's not full already. I do like how, like, you know, it's like a matte, shiny design. You know, it's not just the usual paper, black and white. Like a cream color. This is like a gold color. So, it's actually not bad. And <clears throat> the flavor is not bad either. The flavor is pretty full and tasty. It it does remind me of other cigars. I just can't pinpoint what cigar that was that that tastes like. But Where'd it's Matt a, go? Say what? Where'd Matt go? Matt had to leave because he had family or friends over, so he just wanna jump on and jump off. Michael, I thought you would have gotta jump off. What happened? Michael, are you jumping on? Hey, it's Alfred. Alfred who just jumped on. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, um, I drove home yesterday. I when I arrived, it was midnight, just on just before midnight. It was a long drive. It was uh, it was crazy drive because we have crazy amount of cars that was driving very very fast. I saw a GTR. I saw uh, uh two three seventy Z. They were like racing each other. They were going quick, and there was a lot of cops too. There was actually quite a bit of cops. I don't know why my GPS made me go Route 15 the whole way. I was driving Route 15 all the way until uh, 91. And then hit back from there. No, I did not get my donuts. By the time I got there, they were closed. I, I got there at 7.50. The market closed at 8. When I go in there, the store is all dark. And, and I tried. I, I went in there. And I went to the car and texted my wife. I was like, oh, no, they're all closed. And then she's all upset and everything. I was like, hey, keep in mind, there's got to be another meet in Jersey 
uh, from Famous Cigar, and what happened is we, we got to stay in New York anyway. We'll be able to buy it. And by then, I'll just buy it as much as you want. That's fine. She's like, okay, all right, I'll wait. And so, yeah. But, Steve, my wife was very thoroughly entertained by the story of how your wife would not go an underground tunnel. She thought that was interesting. And when I tell her about the airplane carrier thing, she had the same 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 like reaction. She's like, wait, isn't like that plane has like nothing? It doesn't even have a seat. Like you tie into the back, the sides, and then literally back opens, you see space. I was like, yeah. She's like, wow, that is very interesting. But yeah, uh, we, I, I told her all the secrets about your wife. Uh, the only story I haven't told her yet is about that plate with the, I don't know, chili or something like that. That plate. That was the only thing I haven't told her yet. Because I don't know how to start that conversation. It's like, yeah, so this is another story we talk about not bringing the plates out. So I had to, I, I had to see whether or not she's seen that picture to be able to tell her that. Okay. Uh, for those people who wonder, the event was great. It was nicely put together. The room was great. Uh, we have a lot of members, and we have a lot of non-members that was join uh, that was joining us at the at the meet. Some of them had to die. Uh, if you don't know what they are, they're actually flies. There's a lot of flies. In the, they're just everywhere, and like half the time we just try to kill the flies. <laughs> but it was it was fun. It was pretty good. The drinks were great. Uh, the food was really really good i mean for what it is really good i was surprised how how little it cost actually i think my bill is only like 40 something dollar which i thought was gonna be more than that i was like what so yeah i just uh i don't know yeah the fly was horrible scott kind of kind of uh, uh set us up by saying we tip well in the very beginning so yeah I don't know how much to tip her really, because usually uh, we have bigger bills. The, the the bill was so small, so <clears throat> uh, my bill comes to like forty. I give her like sixty five. I don't even know how much I was supposed to tip her because the bill was so. I was shocked by how small it is. I thought my bill had to be like somewhere in the hundreds, but it's not. My cigar bill was in the hundreds, <laughs> but like you know. Uh, uh, he won. Won what? Oh, we didn't play that game because literally I came out. I, I went to the humidor. I came out and I showed them what cigar I bought. So literally, oh, that would have told them yeah. how much I spent. So yeah. we didn't play that. Usually, I had to buy them and have them shipped to my house, and nobody sees what I bought. And that's when we can play that. Game. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then yeah, we we had a lot of fun. We had a tour of the place, and we heard the story of how. Uh, a non a, a non elective vagina uh, vaginal doctor surgeon can open the number four biggest um, cigar distribution in the U.S. So, the moral of the story is: if you want to do something well, keep your day job. <laughs> keep your day job, right? The brother, uh, he inherit the, the the brother who was the doctor inherited the, the business, who was a surgeon. Had all the money in the world and just say, you know what? Let's build this up. Let's build, and they did, and they did. They did. Like not only have a building, they have everything online distribution, and now they have a restaurant in the front, a restaurant bar, in the front, all because the brother was a surgeon, right? So that worked out pretty well. That pretty pretty well. So I just want to say, hey, we got to say, Scott, next time you should book us that private room in the back. We should be using that private room in the back. We're celebrity, right? But yeah, uh, it was really fun. I, it was w w worth the drive. It was worth. It was worth suffering a day in that uh, Holiday Inn. Okay. Holiday Inn. Yeah, but 15, 18 percent. That's that's not a lot for forty forty dollar bill. Uh, it was like what four dollars. So that's like six dollars. So I just gave her sixty. <clears throat> Um, because yeah, alcohol, right? And she kind of run back and forth. She's really nice. She she's actually she's twenty five years old, brand new tattoo. Don't know her name, but she was very nice. 
so she does it over the table. In fact, when I told my wife I I I give like sixty dollars something for a um, forty dollar bill, she's like, "Wait, that's it?" I was like, "Oh, oh sorry." <laughs> Does she mean forty was it, or the sixty was it? Which one? No, it's a forty something dollar. I give her sixty five. I think. But did you want mean forty was all? For, it was only a forty dollar bill, or is a sixty dollar tip? Which one does she? Was she like saying? No, she's like, well, tip is only sixty dollars, so sixty five. Oh. So, I told her, you know, like the dinner and stuff costs like sixty five. I mean, lunch and stuff costs sixty five. Right. She's like, wait, that that was it? Yeah, because usually if I, me and my wife goes out to, to, to lunch, 65 will be a drink and a meal. Right. Yeah. And I was there for like half the day. So it's like, oh, wow. I was hoping that you'll forget about the video room. I will not forget. I think I would deserve that room. I think I deserve that room. We got we to gotta hang out there like, like President and his little minions. That's how we do it. <laughs> That room was really, really nice with the two big windows. Oh my god, I wouldn't mind you hang out there. That 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 place is nice. So, uh, the drive. You know what? The drive back was beautiful. The view was great without the rain and everything. You see the mountain views and all the trees on the mountain. I, you know, it's very pleasing to drive through. It's actually not bad. I drive through it on like the. It only gets bad when the sun is completely down. You can't see shit. There's not enough light. And the, the up and down dip is a lot, so you don't you, like you literally see that, like a you don't know when the road start turning. And driving like seventy five at that speed and you can't see where it's turning, it's actually kind of dangerous. But hey, it was good. I I you know I guess in that way we fill Scott's you know setup as we tip well, right? That considered we tip well, right? I guess. I'm Asian and we don't have concept of tipping. <laughs> Alright, so uh, believe it or not, majority of the restaurant that we go, they add the tip in there automatically. <laughs> I don't even know how much you tip. So um, So we have a good time. They uh, their cigar like for those people who haven't been there, I will say before you get there. Look at their website to find out what you want before you get there. Because their 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 humidor are very limited. Even though they have like crap load of different selection in the back, their stuff in the front are limited. It's hard to window shop. It's like, oh this I've never seen this before. I've never seen that before. It's hard. It's hard to do that. They don't have a lot of stuff in the front. But overall it was great. The food was really, really good. Like I eat the dinner the night before there. I eat the lunch over there. The hamburger and the Cuban sandwich were really, really good. And I usually don't eat banana chip. What was that? The plantain chips? They were actually pretty good. They're not that sweet. And we also get to try uh, the, the the drip where they drip uh, Knob Creek into coffee beans into a cold brew container. And that was pretty good. I was eleven dollar a shot, or eleven dollar for two shots, and that was pretty good. And, and and don't ask me if I bought a thing to do in my house. <laughs> but yeah, the infused bourbon was was really cool. Even though they got the idea from someone else, based on what they're saying, it's still a really cool idea. You know, I mean that is a cold brew machine, and they decided to. Well, cold brew units that they use to infuse drinks. You know, because if usually if I was to infuse a drink, I would put a, uh, whatever I mashed up for infuse in a bag and just soak it in there. But this one goes through, so I, you know, it actually comes out pretty crisp. Uh, for what it is, it's actually really good. And then uh, Anamaya just basically said his room is completely fine. There's no issue with faucet. So it's just my room. My room was shit, all right? My, just my luck. Every time I go, you know, it's like every time I want to pick a uh, place that's close to what I'm doing, whatever, I always get screwed over. The only, like, I need to have a habit of only trust the brand that I go to. <laughs> I feel like every time I go to Holiday Inn, I don't have a good experience, but you know. Next time, we'll, we'll, we'll book somewhere. But then, you know, Famous Cigar, I will definitely stay in New York City. 
because if my wife is gonna be there, it better be good. So can okay, no. Okay, no, they are all booked. I don't know what's happening over there. There's literally nothing nearby within the the ten mile radius. All right, and I don't know why that hotel is booked. Completely booked. I don't know why. Wait, you feel like the, the okay? So you're saying that the breakfast did not taste spongy to you, and did the orange juice not look yellow? I mean green. I, I just want to make sure we have the same experience because I look at the orange juice, it looked kind of green, right? And the sandwich, they have two sandwiches. They have one is sausage, egg, and cheese. The other one is bacon, egg, egg, and cheese. Okay, and uh, both taste spongy to me. Both taste spongy to me. I did not touch the bagel or the Danish because when I got out of the hotel, those two were not on there yet. Uh, the only thing was there that was six. Uh, there was there was a two sandwich. I was there at six thirty, I believe. Six thirty. That's when they start. Was seven thirty. Six thirty or seven thirty, when they first started. Literally, they were still loading stuff up. But I ate the both, and both of them did not taste good to me. I didn't use their coffee. I used the Keurig in the in, in the room, and that tastes weird. So they they feel like they were like steam microwave or something. Like that. Hey, Juan. Hey, Michael. What's up? Glad to see you're okay. You know? Oh, yeah. Did you drive home yet? No? When's the event? No, no. No, no. Uh, I walked back to the hotel. You walked back Cause to the hotel? Yeah, because I'm waiting to see what's going, to, going on for dinner plans or whatever. I have no idea. Uh, okay. So when, when, when do you uh, plan to go back? Tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, okay, okay. F 450 miles? Yep. Yeah, wow, long drive. Yeah, my wife was like, what's the big deal if he doesn't have his wallet? I was like, well, here, well, number one thing is he probably drive there. He have no driver's license. And she's like, that's okay, drive without driver's license. I was like, at 450 miles, that's kind of gambling. Yes. And then she goes. But it's, ap it's apropos for uh, Vegas. Right. I, and I told yeah. her, like, you know, it doesn't have to be a police stop you. It could be some idiot decide to rear end you and you don't have your driver's license. That would not be nice. Right? Exactly. Like, like, I wasn't worried about the money because Brandon's like, dude, I'll give you money if you need to. I was like, yeah, I'm just worried about having my license. That's the problem. Yeah. I, I was like, that's the only thing I worry about, too. Like, if I lose my wallet, the first thing I would think is my license because I need to operate things. I need to get into buildings with that or something like that. Right. And and she's like, so, so what, what happens if he couldn't get it back? I said, well, he had to go to the local registry and get a temporary one printed out. So he can drive back. And then today's Sunday, so he's SOL. <laughs> I would have I just drove back without it. <laughs> yeah, but I, I told her it's kind of risky. I, I do know that if you drive without a driver's license in Massachusetts, it's a $1,000 fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how much it is in Arizona. but Nevada, I don't know. But Arizona, it's, yeah, I think it's like $500 or something. Yeah. So it's not but, that they cannot find out whether or not you have a driver's license. It's that they got to find you. Even if you have one, yep, yeah, yeah. But I think if you you know explain the situation, but yeah, that, that story was was iffy though. Finding the trash can, why? Who are looking the trash can? Do I don't know. So I go and I reported it actually last night, and then I called uh, the show. They kicked us out at like five or five thirty, and then I was walking with Taylor, and we were talking. And then he was going to go do what he was going to do. And I was coming back to the hotel and I get out of the Venetian and I'm walking and I went to grab my phone, but I wasn't thinking I grabbed the wrong side where my wallet usually is. I'm like, Oh shit, where the fuck my wallet. And I was thinking it had to have fallen out in the show because I didn't use it anywhere else. And so, yeah, I get back and I call them. They're like, no, we haven't found it. I filled out a report. And so I called them again at about eight o'clock last night. And then the front desk or the security at the Venetian hadn't found anything. So I called him again this morning before I went to the show. I called him at the show. And about 15 minutes later, after I called him at the show, I get an update that says they had found it. So I go to the security desk at the Venetian. And he's like, give us 15, 20 minutes because we got to bring it up. And I was like, okay, cool. So I went and got some coffee. I go back over there. And he's like, yeah, he's all, he's all, he's all one of the, uh, he's all, we found it in the trash can. I was like, who did? I guess one of the, maybe the custodial workers or something found it in the trash can, he says. 
I don't know. He's all he's all everything may be out of order in there. He's all because we do take stuff out to try to find out whose it is. So okay. So yeah, everything was all out of order in my wallet, but my money was in there, all my cards were in there, everything was in there. Yeah, I mean it is a common practice for the pickpocketer to take the stuff and just toss in the closest trash. But it right. didn't take anything. I guess it, the legit thing was actually fall into the seat or something like that. And then they didn't want to say they found in the seat and didn't turn it in yet. Oh, because I went to the Espinosa booth because I was thinking that's probably where it came out of my pocket because they had a, they have two couches at their booth. And so I looked through all the cushions and like Jack and Toronto and everybody's like, look underneath. So I'm lifting up the couches looking. I was like, nope, it's not here. Uh, well, at least you found it. And that's all it counts, right? So, yeah. And uh, I highly doubt anybody will use like, you know, uh, you know, credit issue thing, you know, because they didn't take your license. They left it in there. They could have just took it. So, right. So I think it'll be okay. You okay? Yeah. But how's the show so far? How's the how's the event so far? It was good. Talked to a bunch of people. Ordered the ordered the new sizes of the pledge and uh, La Historia, and I ordered. Uh, all the new release stuff from Espinosa, and I talked to a few other people, so about it. I did uh, see you post up a notice of something was uh, they're not gonna make it for a while. Like yeah, so maybe order. not, maybe not towards the end of the year. The AP Carrillo, the New Wave Reserva, Connecticut, the Capital Soul, and the Alancos, all those aren't gonna be made for a few months. Yeah, so if uh, you still have them. Yeah, I've got a few New Wave Reserva Connecticut left. I think I've got some Capital Soul and I've got Elancos left. But yeah, I can't order anymore. Uh, Juan says, that's why I switched to keep my wallet in the front pocket to the back pocket. Also, my nervousness is bad to carry in the back because it misaligns your spine. Yes. Well, here's the thing. My spine has already misaligned long ago. If you feel like it's going to misalign, make sure you're even, right? One day you put in the left cheek. The other one, you put in the right cheek. Or just yeah. carry two wallets. Or just yeah, don't carry wallet. a wallet. Just don't carry a wallet. If you had two wallets, Michael, then you would have had a backup. All right? Then I wouldn't have this problem. I'd have like, whatever. What I don't get is people who have those, like, long wallets. Oh, yeah. Where they put in the back pockets, or half of them are sticking out. Like, why? So they don't have to fold their bill up, man. No, but then it's like, are you asking someone to just take it out of your wallet, you know, pocket? Like, literally sticking out says, hey, I'm here. So then you can't call it a billfold. Right. You just call it a bill. <laughs> and so, so, so that's the other thing about my wallet. He's like, he's, they're all, is it anything special? I was like, it's a freaking Legend of Zelda wallet. You can't. Legend of Zelda? Any other brand. I oh shit you not. It is. it is. That's probably why they didn't want it. <laughs> they're like, oh, what the fuck? Then they look in there, they, they see my business card in there. They're like, it says little guy's cigar shop on it. This guy ain't got no fucking money with $5 cash in here. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda wallet, man. I cannot keep wallet in my front pocket. My my pocket, usually, one side has my phone. My phone is gigantic. It takes up its entire pocket. Right? Yeah. And my right pocket always have my car key. So, like... That's why the only place I can put is right where my ass is. Zelda wallet. That's a kid's wallet. No, 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 no. Kids would not carry a Zelda wallet. Zelda came out in 1986. Actually, kids don't carry wallets. True. I did when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I just carried the bills. Like, nah. Yeah. I, I, I don't thought think it was I, cool I to have a wallet. wallet. I, I don't think I carried a wallet until I'm like, 15, 16 years old. So, but yeah, uh, uh, Zelda water, you have to know Zelda enough to like it. I mean, kids nowadays, if they want to carry something like that, they will carry a Smash Brother water. It wouldn't be just Zelda. Yeah, it's going to be like Fortnite or Smash Brothers or Call of Duty right. or something stupid. All right, here it is, man. This crazy conversation, right? This crazy conversation has given birth to our next swag. We need a, we need a Velcro Shadow Smokers Legion wallet. <laughs> Absolutely Velcro? not. Velcro? Absolutely no. not. Velcro yes. wallet? No. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. Only thing that I'm going to consider as a wallet is if it's made out of leather. 
I'm just like oh. Jerry Steinfeld's dad with that. I can't stand the sound no, of it. I am not going to go out there and say, like before you pay for just a guy, so, he'll... Uh, but no, I'm home, man. That I'm just kills home. your credibility right there. The moment <laughs> I hear somebody about to pay the bill, I hear... That, no, 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 no. It's got to be that nylon with the... Oh, yeah, dude, you got it'll be retro and everything, no, man. It, no, leather, leather. Leather, bifold leather. I don't even carry trifle. Michael, man, you disappoint me, brother. No, leather only. No Velcro. I have not had a Velcro wallet ever. What does the people on the live say, man? Y'all can throw me under the bus, but somebody gotta back me up. No, 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 no one, no one back this up. No one, no <laughs> one is allowed to back this up. We'll kick you out right now. <laughs> Velcro wallet. Come on. How old are we? Velcro wallet. Come. On. You know, that, I'm a nerd. I'm, a, cool. I'm not that big of a nerd, okay? <laughs> leather, yeah, he says leather. Oh, okay. That's like, a fan, it's like, it's yeah. like, it's like having a fanny pack. Come on. I don't even wear shoes with Velcro. Hell no. Yeah. Albert does. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, sandals are a different story. You can have Velcro on sandals because you're not just the size here and there. No. No, don't wear sandals like that. It's flip-flops or shoes. None of those sandals. Well, you know, there are certain places that you have to use sandals. Thank you, Juan. Into the water, you, Juan. It's got to get washed away. Thank you, Juan. No. No. <laughs> what, what? What? Duct tape wallet? Come on. Yes. 95? Yes. Yep. Hey, duct, duct tape wallets are cool. If you want to make one of those, I'm down. Told you it's a no, retro no. thing, man. You can't you can't look at it as being functional. You gotta look at it as being no. Retro. I only make things as functional. Come on, brother. Come on. I I cannot. I can. Uh, I when I think of duct tape wallet, I think of like those nerds or hippies back in the early '90s that always crowd together next to the uh, what they call it, the the goth kids. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. That's the group that I usually don't go near to. <laughs> they scare me. <laughs> they're, they're playing hacky sack and stuff. Mm. Man, I can't believe y'all. Tie and cuff link. I can. I can. I can. I can go with that. Actually, we can do ties. I just had to find someone to design it. I mean, I'm Asian. I can find somebody to sew them together. Yeah, all right. Call one of my cousins. Hey, you guys have factory to make ties? Ah, oh, of course we do. Yeah, you got about like ten thousand of them. Yeah, you only the finest. All of our cousins have a job to do. Only the finest synthetic silk. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> better if you use synthetic silk because they don't wrinkle as much. Yeah, silk wrinkles a lot. I'll buy the tie and make a wallet out of it, man. That's what I'll do. Cuffling, <laughs> cuffling is gonna be tough, all right? For those people who doesn't know cuffling, they have to be mold. You have to carry a mold. And then they have to. It, it actually costs quite a bit of green penny to do that. Suspenders be awesome. All right, Val, thank you, brother. I am. Suspenders. I am not that fat to use suspenders. <laughs> I use belt. We can do belt. Yeah. Belt nice embossed belt. Yeah. Belt buckles. Yeah, I can see people do belt buckle. However, the belt buckle will look kind of ugly right now based on what we have right now. Because you know, you... hold on. Like a giant coin on my belt. And yeah, like, it will look like a huge, huge coin. I mean, I can't find one right here, but then like, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I guess our, everybody gets their ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You might as well just put a patch on it that says, Hi, I want my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna look good. I I, I think it will look really weird. That would look really weird. You haven't yeah. seen the Texas state of Texas uh, belt buckles in. It will have to be something yeah. specially designed where somebody can like you know hammer it into a belt buckle, and that would be check a out the, Check out the, te the state of Texas belt buckles. They're ugly. Just a star, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Ugly as sin. You don't you have to be fat to wear suspenders. The only yeah. reason I can think of somebody wearing suspenders is because their belt, their their pants doesn't fit a belt, so they need a suspender to hold it up. I could do it as like a fashion statement, but then I gotta dress like a hipster. 
Val's trying to be a hipster. Yeah. Basically, my thing is that I, I don't care what pants I'm wearing, except lounge pants. Every pants should have belt loops, and I always wear belt. That's my rule. Like my wife will go out and buy pants, and the first thing I will tell her is there's no belt loop. And then she would, you know, she'd be like, "Oh, really? Come on! I don't have to wear a belt everywhere. I, like, I don't have to wear a belt, but it must have belt loops." <laughs> Was it zip? Does it zip on the opposite side? Because if they are, they're women's pants. That's what I was gonna say. Tony's buying women's pants or what? 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 Zip? No, no, no. Obviously, my wife buying her pants you know, has to have belt loops. So. Oh, so, oh, okay. So, if she gets pants without belt loops, you you don't like that. I don't like it. Like she, okay, okay she okay. wears dress pants, and a lot of female okay. pants don't have belt loops. Yeah, because women don't need belts. Yeah, so yeah, I told her you don't have to wear a belt, but you must have belt loops. You know, it's like dress pants without a pocket. There's lots of women's dress slacks. Without uh, like, again, oh, you just say lots of women. They Tony, did it man. out of fashion, out of look, but it's not it's not it's not correct for a dress up. Tony, man, you're messing with the women's clothes, man. That's that's bad karma. There is a rule there there are rules to dress up. If you want to dress suit, you you follow the rule. Michael. Don't do it, Tony. It's bad karma, man. She you're not wearing the women's clothes. She doesn't have any any dress pants right now that have belt, that have no belt loop, so I'm glad. I'll talk her into it, it's okay. No, she my credit card, so yeah. <laughs> Sneaker Air Assassin. You know that would be a really good thing, except I don't think our, our group can afford it. Because when you try to make a sneaker, you need to make at least ten of each size. How do I know? I, yeah, I, I know quite a bit of sneaker company. Um, sock to wear for was sandal. Who wears socks to sandals? That's weird, such a Korean weird thing. people. Oh, uh, your your European region. That's of, such a uh, Korean thing. Region. Your European Legion members, they do. I hope not. Uh, does, does James does that? Oh, oh, James and Jeff and they wear socks with sandals. Bruce. Oh yeah, that's a terrible thing. You think nothing of it, man. I hate to tell you, the reason you wear sandals is so that your foot is exposed. If you wear right. socks, it kind of defeats the point. Yeah, uh, but. That's what they do, man. All right. Weird. So, um, but yeah, I understand you don't need to be fat to wear suspenders. But the thing is that if you use belt, it kind of weird to use suspenders. I mean, people wear suspenders just to look cool. It it, it it looks good if you're gonna look like a like a, like a, you know like Nucky Thompson time period kind of dress. You can tell if they're trying to when they wear a belt and suspenders. It doesn't work that way. If you wear a belt and suspenders, I'll ruin your. That will ruin your pants. But they do it. People do it. Yeah, it will ruin your belt and it will ruin the pants. That's how you how you quickly warp your belt. Uh, yes, I'm very into dress up because I have to go to a lot of events that actually requires you to dress up. So, if you do something wrong, those people, they're snobs. They will tell you. They'll be like, "Hey Tony, you're not wearing belt." I don't need belt. It fits fine. No, wear a belt. Tony's going to lose his mind when he goes to TPE next year. <laughs> well, Tony, when you wear a belt, make sure you get the uh, our, our Legion belt buckle. On it. <laughs> not only you wear the belt, the belt is where that people can tell whether or not you, t you do your tie correctly. Your tie should end where your belt is. Right. So if you don't have belt, it's, you know. Yeah, don't get fat, dude, because it F's up the whole tie thing. I'm telling you. Before belt, there are side fastener adjust, adjuster and suspenders. Well, yes. Basically, and they were before belt, yes. Do you have to like add pie to it? Because it's. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes a very big formulaic equation. <laughs> the diameter, diameter times pie. Or, yeah, times pie is what it is. Well, you just have to know how to tie your tie, you know? If uh, A lot of people, like, do it 20 times. They couldn't get the right length. You need, like, three times the amount of uh, length on the tie in order to get it down to your belt. Scott, like, they wear socks with sandals. Pull their OG numbers. <laughs> man, Scott's, Scott's turning into uh, Dwight, man. Yep. Oh, gosh. Wanting to fire everybody. Uh, and also, um, 
when you wear a tie, you always you should always do a dimple. Your tie should always have dimples. Yeah, have dimples. Yeah. yeah. Some people don't. They just pull. No, no, no. Dimples, dimples. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of rules, you know. And also, your inner shirt should stick up from your sports jacket. Always yeah. Do that. Uh, the proper way to wear your shirt should technically have uh, cufflinks, but not everybody wears a French shirt, so. No. So that way they can prove that you don't have a short sleeve shirt on. Well, it, it also is supposed to end where your watch is. So it covers half your watch, too. So, And the reason that you wear a cufflink so that the watch doesn't get scratched. Cufflinks hands low, so it doesn't scratch your, your, your watch. When you wear a regular shirt, the buttons actually wear your watch is. It will scratch your watch. So that's he. Everybody knows now. So now, can we do a, like a Shadow Smokers e a Legion black tie event? Sure. Even though if I go to that kind of event, I will be wearing a bow, bow tie. I wouldn't wear an actual tie. So. I don't really want to wear a black tie. But, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't really like to wear a tie, to be honest. With you. I'd rather wear a bow tie rather than a tie. So I look like a waiter walking around. <laughs> Walk by Michael. Michael would be like, hey, um, yeah, another shot of Martini, please. <laughs> okay, get over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here's an empty one. Take it, too. <laughs> yeah, when you want to dress up, you dress proper, right? If you don't want mm -hmm. to, then don't dress proper. Jeans and jeans and shirt and whatever, you're fine. Nobody said you have to, you know. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Um, and, and it's not supposed to be comfortable. If you're wearing a suit, it's not comfortable. No. But you need to make it look like it is. Oh, yeah. You need to. That's why you have all those adjustments, right? People who dress up, button and unbutton like 50 times a day, right? People are tight, adjust their tie 50 times a day, you know? Pull their pants a little bit 15 times a day. Check their shirt 50 times a day because it will get pulled all the way out. So it's not comfortable. I don't like it, but... Business needs, right? Business needs. So, cigar. Halfway through. Now it's actually a little bit more floral. It still have that barnyard grain mash flavor to it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a bad cigar. Nice. What do you think of it? I like it. This is my third one. The short run. I brought three to the event. Give it to three people, so I don't know if they smoked it yet. If the shirt fits properly, then it's comfortable. Technically, no shirt is gonna fit properly. The only shirt that's gonna only part of the shirt that you want to make sure is fit properly is actually your cuff, your neck. Yeah. Right. If this round is comfortable, the rest are supposed to be comfortable. But yeah, I've got an issue because I'm, I'm in between sizes. You know, between the sleeve length and the neck mm -hmm. size. Dude, I have the hardest time with shirts. So because they say the, always if, get if the, if the neck length, if the neck size is correct, then like the chest isn't quite right. It's like it's like too almost too loose. If I go to where the chest is right, the fucking neck's too tight. It's terrible. Because you can't fix the neck, so you want to get the neck correct. And once the yeah. neck's correct, everything can be shrunk down. Yeah. But that you know, then you might as well custom make one. Right at that point. Yes, yeah, Scott, you will look awesome. Can I wear a tuxedo t-shirt? Tuxedo t-shirt? What the hell is yeah. a tuxedo t-shirt? That's what it's you do. It's a t-shirt oh, no. that looks like a tuxedo. Come on, Tony. No, the t-shirt will only have the inside of the tuxedo. It will not I have a, a tuxedo. A tuxedo. Yeah, I can see you wearing it, Tony. A tuxedo. The rule of a tuxedo it means it must have a dress color. I understand. <laughs> uh, Tony, you need to Google it, and yes, you would wear one. I would not wear it. I know exactly what I'm talking about, but if it's printed, it's not a dress color. So it's not a tuxedo. Michael, but you're, do you but see you're Asian. One? Yeah, you're Asian. You would wear one. Why, why, why does that have to do with anything? I'm telling you. Why is Asian will wear one? I've seen those. Doesn't matter. You would wear one. Am I wrong? I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't buy it. If I have it, I wear it, yeah. But I wouldn't buy it. So we'll buy you one so you no, can wear it. No, don't buy me one. <laughs> I don't buy it for a reason. 
I don't buy it for a good reason because I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, uh, you know, I rather just dress up if I had to go out looking dress up. That's what we do. We we get uh, tuxedo T-shirts made with Shadow Smoker Legion pin on there. You know, like you know, it's like like a lapel. Like, yeah, on the lapel. So a lapel pin that's printed onto it. You know. Uh, yeah. To a tuxedo T-shirt, yeah. Okay, yeah, seriously. Like, how lazy do you have to be to do that? I don't no, want to do any of those things. I want to put one T-shirt on. Everything's on there. You have to go all go out. Yeah, this is not lazy. This we we will we will work hard to make this happen. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, keep keep working hard to convince me. <laughs> <laughs> keep very work very hard to convince me. You know what's really funny? Today I was packing the stuff that I need to send to Wells. Uh, Michael for the event the amount of box that I put in the box and all the coins stuff like that actually fits one box Nice The cups I have to have them sent directly to you. They, I, I'm not gonna try to yeah. figure no, out. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to risk that So those are uh, I'll probably send those out <clears throat> Sometime uh, Sometime next week or so Well, maybe two weeks Michael, it looks like you're in the hallway, man. I am in my hotel room. Is that the bed? Or is that the... Yes. S- it looks like something on here. Like, 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 like a, it looks like, like you wall. know, how they got the wall, you know? Yeah. I'm standing at a urinal. <laughs> <laughs> my wife actually see those stick-on walls that's made out of uh, wood. And she's like, oh, that would look really nice. You should put it in the backdrop. I was like, did you see how much they cost for a piece? And she's like, and she looked, it's a hundred dollar a piece. Oh my god! I was like, why don't I just hire somebody to actually finish my wall? <laughs> yeah, hundred dollar a piece, about uh, two by two. Hundred dollar piece. There's a bunch of people wanting numbers pulled around here, man. Nah, I won't pull people's number. You know, except maybe <laughs> numbers. <laughs> maybe mine. Wow. The socks and sandals thing, I don't know, that's... that's. I know, I, you know, come on. Velcro, wallet. That's, that hurts me. Uh, that hurts would, me. Uh, I, can't, I, I think Albert is a very high-class person. When he when I think of Velcro, wallet, that just removes all his credibility for me. Okay. Uh, what was what was your uh, wallet there, Michael? That's, that's a Legend of Zelda. It's, that's that's yeah. a big deal. And it's leather. I, I will get, I, you know, I'll be okay with was, Legend was of Zelda. Or leather? No, it's leather, it's embossed, uh, and it's embroidered. It's stay. That thing cost me like 30 bucks. Brown Lobo, how do I join the Shadow Smokers? Very easy. You get one of those people that's talking to you, send your invite. That's it. That's all you have to do. It might take a few times to get to know everybody and for them to be comfortable, to give you a link. But all you had to do was talk one of them into giving you one. And then you had to go through a 90 day probation. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually better for you and for us for you to know that whether or not you, this group is for you. Not, yeah. not every group is for every person. So yeah. our group actually operates very differently than other it gives, it gives you a chance to interview us. Yeah. Or us interview you. I was trying to be, yeah. So, yeah, it's actually not hard. All you have to do is just get to know somebody. If you're going to interview me, you have to pay me. Like uh, like the royal the royal kids there. What? Wait, 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 wait. When's the last time you go to a job interview where they pay you? I don't know, but I want to get paid if I'm going to get interviewed. <laughs> you know, I think um, UPS did that. Yeah. They paid me to interview me? They They brought you in. For I think about four hours to go through some stuff, and they paid you four hours. Yeah, that happened. Did, That's did not they, did, That's different. Did that happen with you, Michael, or no? I don't know what we're talking about, but I must say yes. Oh my god. Well, anyways, this was uh, years and years ago when they opened a cub in Mesquite in Texas, oh. and we went in and they they kind of did a group interview thing. And kind of indoctrinated, you know, everybody knows about this and that and the other. And then um, at the end of it, they're like, okay, you, 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 and you stay. Everyone else, thanks for coming. You get your money. 
Oh, wow. No, they didn't do that. I got interviewed and then uh, he's all come ahead and coming on Monday. All right, cool. I have never heard somebody give uh, money for interview. But I thought I, I, I was talking like an interview like this because they want to interview me because yeah, they want to know about interview me. interview different. Yeah, I'm not talking about like interview like uh, like like uh, this is a new seven. We'd like to interview you. That's different, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Interview me, pay me. Carlos says, I would like to join, but I don't have social media. You just need to have Discord. Right now, we're running off Discord. So, uh, Scott says he's so proud of himself oh, that he's not drunk at the meet. I'm Sorry. surprised Steve wasn't drunk. Steve was going one after another and another on that sour uh, beer. He, he, like, I think like uh, at the end of it, he's like five, six cups in. All right. I think I understand what he, he might mean by that, by the way. He's in that social media. So how would he connect with somebody who doesn't have the word? They don't have social media. This is your social media. YouTube social, social media. Yeah, but. How are you going to contact somebody? Right. You know what you're saying? Discord. Well, here's the thing. All right. So you would like to get to know people so that people can send you a link, right? You just have to do one of these, get to know someone, and talk to one of those person, and then get to know them. And then one day, I don't care how they, they give it to you, they can email it to you, they can whatever, but you know, this way. When there's a whale, there's a way. And whales is right there. <laughs> so, and some of us, you know, we have business emails, we you know, get all kinds of things. Yeah. What, what, what is your business email? Uh, Michael? <laughs> Info at littleguystagarshop.com. That's a sneaky way, man. That was sneaky. It was sneaky, but... It was sneaky. It, it was... That uh, counts. It was... Um, it was necessary, man. Nah, was... I don't know about that. Anyways. Uh, I didn't know Walmart sells 30 bucks. I don't even think Walmart sells that wallet. I mean, that, that no. you have to go to certain places to buy them. Yeah. yeah. Like GameStop or something like that. Maybe they have it. Not all the time. I can't remember. I've had this for so long, I don't remember where I got it. Yeah, you had to go to those specialty hobby shops to get it. So. But it's so cool. Yeah, I have like those Final Fantasy wallets back in the day. This is a Legend of Zelda t-shirt. that I'm Raisin brand. Yeah, okay, from Majora's Mask, because, like, the premise of the story is the moon's going to destroy the Earth, and you have to stop the moon. So what they did is they took, they took like, ra uh, ra the Raisin Bran logo, and they, like, ripped it off with the moon's going to crush everything, and it says two scoops of doom on it. You know, this is a funny concept, because moon is significantly smaller than Earth. Correct. To know that the moon can destroy the Earth, but Earth cannot destroy the moon. Because Earth is majority water. <laughs> so it's yeah. not going to destroy the moon, but moon is solid. You <laughs> will destroy the earth. Mm -hmm. Steve was drinking slow. Yeah, we have a lot of drink. I'm surprised that when I was driving back, I don't even feel anything. I was like, that was a pretty good time. I, I know the drink over there was great. Their, their, their passion fruit martini was great. I was like, oh, yeah. Passion fruit martini. Oh, no, pa not a passion fruit. Was that martini? No, it's a, it's a shoe. Shoe. Um, it's not martini. It's passion fruit. Shit, I can't remember the name. Now that I, now I, now that I say the wrong, I know it's wrong. Hold on. So it's a girly drink. No. Uh... Juan's funny. I can't think of that now. Right now, hold on. Shoot. Juan's funny. What does it say? What I can't see. It. What's that Did drink you... that you usually put mints in? Did you go to PCA or Comic Con? Uh, I'm at PCA right now. Yeah. A mojito? Mojito, that's what it is. Passion fruit mojito. There we go. I can't like that. That word just like. You can spill a mojito if it's passion fruit. They just basically put passion fruit syrup into mojito. Now, for those people who doesn't know passion fruit, passion fruit is a tropical area fruit that. Originally, it was not popular in the U.S. You cannot even find them. And the it's, real, uh, it's really strange looking. Huh? It's very strange looking. Yeah, they shrivel. They, 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 you know, kind of shrivels a little bit. 
uh, and, and they're really good. I mean, I grew up eating it, so I absolutely love it. But when I came to America for like 10, 15 years, they don't have that kind of stuff. 10, 15, 20 years, they don't have that. Recently, they start importing those, and everywhere you can find passion fruit syrup. So every time when I see something passion fruit, I have to try it because it tastes good. Passion fruit's really good. Passion fruit's good. I eat passion fruit with like just open it and just like eating it. So. You seem very passionate about it. I will say that. Hell yeah! <laughs> there are a lot of things that I grew up eating that wasn't available here. So when I when I see it available here, I get super excited. You know, you guys can understand it, right? Like if you grew up eating something and then you didn't have it for a long time, all of a sudden you saw it, you're like, yes! Oh, yeah. What took you so long? You know. Like uh, star fruit came from my country, Taiwan. And, and you can't find that here for a long time. When it first showed up here, my wife was like, what is that? I was like, star fruit is so good. You buy something and ate it. Even though a star, fruit, star fruit, one star fruit probably costs less than a dollar in, my, in, in Taiwan. Over here, one piece of star fruit, half the size of original star fruit, is five dollars. We have star fruit. It's called the uh, apple. You just cut it in half, and you have a star inside. Star fruit is actually the shape of star. Yeah, so is, so is the apple. It's a star. Really, Albert? Really? Yeah. Now they have it. Like passion fruit drinks are everywhere now. Back in the day, they didn't have any passion fruit. They yeah, we didn't import passion fruit. We weren't too excited about passion fruit, that's for sure. We don't have to be excited. You just have to be passionate. <laughs> Why am I going with that shit? Why I know. Am I, going I, with that shit? I know. So. Um, this cigar is, is... Oh. I got something for y'all. What's, what's up? So, we... Years, uh, several years, about five years ago, we had uh, a friend of my daughter's. Uh, her, they were, her mom was moving to New Mexico. New Mexico, yeah, Carlsbad, in fact. And uh, so she stayed with us for a year so she could finish her senior year in high school. So years pass, blah blah blah. We come to find out she's studying uh, over in Geneva. <laughs> 11 minutes from Davidoff of Geneva, man. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So what's she studying? Psychology. Oh. I was like, I was like, come on. Yeah. But it's like she stu- she looked for uh, colleges that were, that would that would accept FAFSA overseas. Apparently there's a lot of them that will accept FAFSA overseas. And so she's over there studying in Geneva. It's pretty cool. She wanted, uh, she wanted a place that would speak French. She wanted to, be able to study in French and all that. So it's pretty cool. It's nice. Exchange program, some sort? No, no. She just, it's like, it's like applying for colleges here. You just, okay. You just go and, it, and it's a, it ties back into the, that degree is, is. So she's awesome. a full study. Yeah, she's a full study. She or, or, or nobody there apply for a school. Yeah. 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 Okay. So Scott wanted me to tell you the story about me seeing with the windows down. No, the window was up. The window was up. Okay, here's the thing. I drove up there. You know, it's like five, six hours by myself. I don't I don't really like to take stops, right? So I, I have one stop of that six-hour drive. And, um, you know, I was driving the whole time. And doing the driving is boring, right? So I listen to music. And, you know, usually music helps because every song that passed by, you're about three miles in. Right? So I started to listen to music. I was, like, all happy and everything. It's raining. I don't give a shit, right? So I'm just, you know, and I was singing. With the windows up, and as it's raining and everything, and then all of a sudden it got sun, uh, it got sunny for a little bit. I was like, oh, pretty happy. I was singing the song, and then like there's a few bikers kind of bike along uh, while I was driving, and I was like, you know, I didn't really pay attention, so I was singing along with the song, and all of a sudden like the song was you know h- hitting the the climax, and it was like just a high pitch. I was like, ah! you know, like you're know, really going at it, and then all of a sudden when that high pitch going up, and I opened my eyes. You see the, the, the biker would just go. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, they can hear me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and I forgot people can hear you even with the windows up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I was very passionate. So I imagine that they heard the whole way, including that high pitch. They didn't even care until that high pitch. 
I would think that when they were riding, they can't really hear me because you know the, all the wind noise and everything. But they could. That's the story. So yeah, be very careful when you're singing and driving at the same time. People can hear you. I mean, I will play the song for you guys over here so you can know what, what I'm talking about. But that will actually get me flagged for sure for copyright. I was enjoying the ride. I mean, I don't mind to drive. Driving is fine. Because like, you know, when you when you have cruise control, you can just all you have to do is just hold the steering wheel, make sure you're not going to the wall. It's actually very easy. So how about a pair of Velcro shoes to go with it and, and a fanny pack? What here's the exactly. thing, alright. You gotta look up you gotta go up and look to see this. First I need to find out, does anybody wear shoes with Velcro here? Val, come on, Val. With the exception of Val, uh, of monk strap on the on the on the dress shoes, it's Does kind it of in uh, it's kind of in Val's name in a way. Well, it's Valcro, really, <laughs> really wrong wrong spelling. Anyway, all right. <laughs> if you wear a Valcro shoe, is it does it have one Valcro, two Valcro, or three Valcro? How many Velcro is on the Velcro shoe? Most I've seen have two. But I'm thinking ten shoes. If you wear a Velcro shoes, how much Velcro will be on there? Enough where your shoe doesn't fall off. No, they're, they're, I just need to know one, two, or three. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna say anything, Tony. They're not gonna call themselves out, man. What? Well, Albert, how many? One, two, or three? Oh, my God. Why do you think I have it, man? Well, just in case, because you guys had, this, the, you had the idea of Velcro. I don't have anything Velcro. But this is something you can easily Google, though. That's the thing. So. Well, they have one, or two, or three. I've seen them. So, Tony, you don't even have any Nikes that have, like, Velcro up by the tongue or anything? Or Reebok or something? I, will I don't not know. buy them if they have Velcro on it. You don't, you don't have, like, the, those... Um, Jazzer size shoes. Wow. <laughs> Freaking 1980s Reebok. So all those people who said two, all those people who said two, congratulations, we can still be friends. Anybody who's thinking about one, we're not friends anymore. Why? Why? What? What kind of shoes have one? Some Velcro shoes have one. Really? Yeah. Literally, I told my wife, if, if she bought a shoe with one Velcro, we're done. Velcro shoes, you have two Velcros. Not three. You have like the four, weirdest thing. Two. She's got to have long hair. It's got to have two things of Velcro. The pants have to have belt loops. I am like so confused here. Yeah, it's not being no, funny. It's, this, okay, it's like chicken and broccoli must have broccoli and chicken. Right. It's the same idea. Velcro shoes should have two Velcros. Okay, with with the exception on the on, on the monk strap uh, dress shoes. I'm trying to think what a monk strap is. Basically, it's a flap that goes over. Most of them has a leather buckle, but some of them oh, have okay. velcro. Okay. Yeah. So chicken broccoli needs to have broccoli in it. And chicken. Why else? It's not chicken broccoli. It's chicken. What about uh, cashew chicken? Can you can I, can I tell them to hold the cashews? What? Say that again? Cashew chicken. You must have cashew and chicken. Because I tell them not to do, do the cashews in it. Then it's just chicken. <laughs> they always put too much cashews in it, man. Then, you know, then you'll have less cashew, but it's still cashew and chicken. No, I tell them to hold the cashews. All right, so, <clears throat> so Hashimoto is saying that the Tiva sandals have three straps. Tiva sandal is not a shoe. So Albert goes and orders a cheeseburger and tells him no cheese. He's one of those guys. No, no, I don't do that. I don't do that. Because that's what it is. No. No. Spaghetti should have meatballs. I will not agree with that. Spaghetti is Yeah, spaghetti. and then um, chili should have beans. No. Not true. Not true. No. Very not true. true. Not true. Very true. I have some serious good chili without beans. Yeah, I'd rather have chili without beans. I believe you. I do believe you, but... And I think the original chili had no beans. 
Wait, aren't you in Texas? Shouldn't Texas chili not have beans? Hey, I'm trying to break the break the uh, the, the concept there. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of Texans like beans in the chili, man. They just I don't want to admit it, or what? No, they admit it, but they always get outshouted by the no beans people. No, you you usually you have baked bean on the side, and you have chili. Here's the cool part: I can eat both kinds of chili because I because I like beans. I can I I can eat whatever is served. But all these no bean snobs, all they can do is eat the ones without beans. I'll, I'll eat it with it. I'll eat it with beans in there. Think I about prefer that. no. I understand, but there's snobs that will not do that. And it's like, oh, I know. Because there's some good chili out there with beans. But, in it. but that's thing. That's called chili with beans. Chili doesn't have to have beans. I understand. Yeah. So that's that's the difference. Like you say, must have beans. No, it's chili or chili with beans. So yeah, it's all about how. You can customize how you want it. I just saying that you know to be proper, there are certain rules for certain things, right? To be proper, and for shoes that has Velcro, two Velcro is a standard. All right, we can argue this all day, but I actually know people who make shoes, so I know how they supposed to be. They're Tony's cousins. I'm gonna pull a shape and I'm gonna like be on the live like this. <laughs> Velcro does not rule the world. No, 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 no. I can survive without it. Oh no! Oh no! Are we gonna talk about good days now? Are we talking about no. how we got good days now? No. Okay. All right. So, but yeah, Velcro. Please don't wear Velcro to anything. Uh, I can tell you, it's not that I never had a Velcro shoe. In my life, I had three pair of Velcro shoes. All three pair were purchased by my mom, and I never wear them again. I don't blame you. I wouldn't wear them either. Because all three broke while I was in school. So embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, you kind of screwed once it breaks. Yeah. So I, I always wear uh, things with uh, shoelaces now. Shoelaces. Yeah, you can't the Velcro. You, you can replace a shoelace, but you can't replace the Velcro. Yes, you can replace the Velcro. Well, okay. In America, you can't. In, a, in America, you can. Go to a cobbler. They will replace it for you. Because everybody's got cobblers on the corner. What the hell are we in the 1700s? What's the pie maker going to do with shit? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? What is, <laughs> what is somebody who makes pies going to do with a sheep? <laughs> makes pie. Cobbler. He's talking about like like, like peach cobbler. <laughs> See, this is why I don't get. You know, it doesn't even. Like, no one will relate it like that. That's why I don't get it. You fall right by me. Dude, of course they do. Man. <laughs> See, we got some laughing going on. They get it. I don't have it down the street either. I had to drive another town, but there you now every few town has one. I'm sure there's a cobbler somewhere in my city. <laughs> I can tell you, okay, if you own a pair of nice dress shoes, you need to know one or two cobbler. Yes. Because I don't because I only wear those maybe once a year. So I don't know okay. where I have a cobbler. For those people who doesn't know, okay, when you spend $500, $600 on a pair of good shoes, yeah, they are repairable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, well, if you do spend like $90 on a dress shoe, they cannot, they cannot be repaired. No. Even if you try, Okay. But if you have own a, a good pair of shoes, which everybody, I think everybody should have at least one pair, especially those, um, what is that brand that's made on America? Uh, shoe, hold on. Wow, I can't remember the name. I've got one really nice pair of dress shoes, so yeah. All right, aside from my name brand shoes, this is the only brand I buy dress shoes from. Alan Inman. They are absolutely awesome. I don't care what people say. They are very ethical. They make shoes absolutely great. And they will repair your shoes no matter how bad it is. Like, I've seen people wear the sh wear their shoes all the way to the bottom has a hole. They send it in, repair, brought it back like new. So, absolutely. If you want to get, get at least one pair of good dress shoes in your life, you will thank me for it. Because... That shoes can last forever. Yep. I 
have like 10 pair of their shoes. It's super awesome. I've got one pair of Allen Edmonds. All right, just, just to put it out there, okay? Just put it out there. Uh, when you first buy their shoes, it's uncomfortable as hell. Yeah. That's with any dress shoes. If a dress shoes is good, it will not fit well. You got to break it in. Mm -hmm. You'll feel like crap. Like you got to get like blister and everything. That's normal. Just saying. So if you're like, oh, I bought a pair of that. That doesn't fit my foot. It's hard as hell. That's because you didn't wear enough. What was the name? Alan Edmonds. All right. Wait, you want to see the shoes? I can show the shoes. I, I can go grab it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is... Watch him have Velcro on it. No, he doesn't. Let's show the Two straps. Two straps only. <laughs> two strap Alan Edmonds that he had custom made. I was trying to think of like, you know, the one ping, one ping only, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> Dude, we got to get something out of the space program. Right? Now I've got another badge to add to my collection. Yay! He's, he's in the background trying to figure out how to not show the Velcro. Yeah, he's going to take it off, cut it off. <laughs> I'll send it in to Alan Hedman and say, could you fix these? <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't sell these shoes, sir. Yes, you do. Hey, I just got to grab one here. See? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a good even with the, the shoe horns are from them. They are pretty nice. Alright. This one, I don't wear all that much. This one, obviously, you can see. And, oh yeah, a good pair of dress shoes, the bottom will be leather. Yep. They will not grab shit. You will slide like Michael Jackson. But that's how Or Donald are. Trump. Huh? Or Donald Trump. Does he slide? Hey, yeah, he, he slid yeah. down the, uh, the ramp at... Um, at the Navy, what do you call it? Uh, well, so is Obama. Who cares? It was, a big, uh, it was a big deal. It's a scary thing when it happens. But yeah, when you bought the shoes, you can see this, these wrinkles. You got to wear your shoes until it has that, and you'll be all more comfortable. You had to beat up your shoes. Oh, the kid. Let me tell you something. The kids in my school, they walk like penguins, man, because they don't want to crease their shoes. Oh, my gosh. On a yeah. sneaker? Yes. Well, see, that's the thing. When you buy a shoes, freaking wear it. And every time I, every time they walk down the hall like that, I always stop them. I'm like, are you okay? Did, did you, like, have a big workout yesterday and, and whatever? They don't like that. They don't like that joke. Hey, Michael, Jason wants to know about your wallet, man. What about it? I found it. Or they, well, security found it. I got it back. Everything's hunky-dory. Or does he want to know how cool it is because the Legend of Zelda wallet? I don't even think Alan Alman make uh, makes Velcro. Do they even make <laughs> Velcro? I don't even think they do. No, we were saying that while you were gone that you probably had a custom pair made with Velcro. On. No, 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 no. If I do have Velcro, it will be two Velcro. But I don't. I don't trust the Velcros. Same. Velcros gets you know once they get wet, get dirty, they lose the grip and all that. I don't trust it. I'm gonna send Tony a pair of shoes that are black with Velcro. Please don't. Three huh. straps. But I've seen, you guys see me showing you guys like whatever I bought a new sneaker or whatever. They always has shoelaces. Yeah, he say he's seen grown people walk, so they don't mess up their shoes. It's crazy, man. Now, see, if, you, if you're worried about messing up your shoes, you're not wearing your shoes correctly. Your shoes must be broken in to be comfortable and fitting. Especially leather. Leather needs to stretch. Leather needs to move before yeah, it's comfortable. Kids aren't thinking that way, Tony. They're thinking... I want to wear these like I, it was the first day I put them on. Then you have to be like me. You buy three pair and wear one. See, and then what's nice is they sag their pants, and then I, it always makes me want to walk behind them and step on their pants so they fall down. But you can't do this that. This is how I do it. If I want a shoe to look pristine all the time, I'll buy one to collect and one to wear. I buy one pair to wear. So, so, again, if you want to collect it, you want to look at pristine, you want to look brand new, you want one to collect, then just buy one to collect. 
don't be a poser and buy one pair and say, oh, I'm afraid that things gotta get banned, or whatever. Come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Wear your shoes, right? Wear your shoes. Wear your shoes that your mama bought you. You know, just like cigar people, we tend to buy two cigars, smoke one. If it's not good, you keep the other one forever. <laughs> or you're like Matt and like you just never smoke at all. Yeah, yeah, you would be like Matt and buy a whole box and that never touch it. He forgets about it. He's like, wow, I got a whole box of those in there. Yeah, I'm not going to smoke those. I tend to have that issue too. Uh, you know, I used to like kick, I, I would walk around and kick a box. I'm like, wait, that's what? I have a box of that shit? I didn't even know. If I can't work in them, I don't want them. And that's, you know, that's perfectly. Imagine somebody bought a pair of red wings and never touched them. Oh my God, that'd be terrible. Right? Those are, those are working boots. You're supposed to work them. And right? they're expensive too. They are. They're like 150, 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. But they are also, the, the, the steel toes will last you a long time. Oh yeah. They ought to make like red wing tips. That'd be kind of cool. Wing tip red wings. That's that, that's an idea. With red wing tips, no less. Then that would be a cowboy boot. That would be a cowboy Ooh. boot. It would. It'd be a fancy cowboy boot. Yeah, red wing will hurt for three weeks before you feel better. But once they feel better, they will feel great forever. Oh yeah, my last pair of red wings. I wore those for like four years. Right, they will feel like they are stiff as hell. It will hurt your foot for a long time. But once they kind of break it up and loosen up, oh my god, they're so comfortable. And I don't even like work on it. I just like I, I wore it a few times uh, when I was I used to sell shoes, so I, I wore them a few times to figure out how they feel like. Holy shit, they're good. Were you one of those guys that was selling knockoff shoes? No, I uh, back in the day I worked uh, when I was in high school. I worked in a in a shoe company as a shoe dog. I don't know if you guys know what that is. No. People who go who deals a warehouse and and find the shoes that the customer needs. Oh, okay. The shoe dogs. So um, usually that shoe company sells majority uh, uh, shoes that's leather, that's meant for like you know, old, older people. Uh, they, okay. they sell a lot of shoes for people uh, that has walking issues. You know, they, a lot of times they will sell one shoe one size, the other shoe another size. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So you can actually find shoe size like D, E, triple E. You know, you, you know when you buy a sneaker, you never heard like triple E. What's that? Triple E. They're, the width actually matters so a lot of leather shoes oh, yeah. they'll count the, le the, the, the width and one of the shoes they sell was red wing nice yeah so I, i'm very into shoes because i worked with shoes for a long time all through my high school years so i know a lot about shoes and you know obviously the ethic of how to dress up and all that stuff all came from that that shoe company has been there for like 200 years something like that oh, wow yeah it's 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 a it's a great company it's three generation i think it's fourth now uh because when i worked there uh the, the the oldest guy was still there uh i think he passed away six or seven years after i left but yeah it was a great shoe company it's a local shoe company and they are great they they they, they will do anything they, they will make sure that you feel comfortable nice. great people uh still still toes don't last that long i work in the oil field and i just got six months ago and i do for another pair already well that's kind of different you work in the oil field you kind of abuse the crap out of it that's different, right? That's like saying that you work in uh, construction and your 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 four F one fifty didn't didn't last long. <laughs> so, oh look who's there! Hey, why is another guy in your room? <laughs> because we've been spooning. Uh, is that what it is? No, we actually have two beds, but still, spooning leads to forking. You know what happens? Spooning leads to forking, right? You know, Brenda, I miss you, just so you know. Tony said he misses you. He wants to kiss you, all these things. Uh -huh. Tony. That's great. Huh. Yeah, you Brendan and I just move for a hug. I don't know if you'd want to hug him right now. He's probably really sweaty because it's hot as hell. I'll hug him even if it's full of mug. Thank you. $275. But, hey, they protect your shoe from being squashed. I mean, protect your foot from being squashed. My mother's uh, current husband, 
What's up? Had his foot squashed from a, a construction accident. Hey, I know there's a lady across the street from me. She got ran over by a forklift. Wow. Yeah, it. Yeah. She kept her foot, but it was. I think her toes went down. Was all smashed to smithereens. I bet she wish she had a steel toe, but not, not every shoe has steel toe. So, even steel toe will get smashed at that point. Forklift, yeah. Uh, why why are you guys smoking? I am smoking a Carwell's. This is trouble. And I can honestly tell you, it tastes good, but it's kind of boring. It tastes good. It's kind of boring. I'm doing a war zone. Espinosa war zone. Isn't the war zone not not really made by Espinosa? Brandon knows it is. It is the the war zone is a collaboration and it's distributed by General. Yeah, I I, I remember the war zone wasn't it compared to the rest of the line is not as good. No, the war zone sucks. It's a terrible cigar. What? All right, it's it's not as good. Like, it's man. not as good. I, it's not it's not a cigar that I will buy again. Uh, for that for that particular. Cigar. Yeah, no, I'm, I was not a fan of it. But all the Osmos are pretty good, so I'm just saying, you know, just that yeah, one. Like, just like the the, Azu, the Azulejo, that 601 Black, the Warhead 7, the last uh, six Provincias, those are going to be great to guys. Last six Provincias. <laughs> going to be awesome. You know, I was, at, I was at Best Cigar Prices, and they have quite a bit of cigar made specially for them, and I tried the Romeo and Juliet, that one. That was made for them. They call it the Exhibitions Edition or something like that. And it actually sucked. <laughs> so, yeah, don't mess with the foreign dabs that much, you know. It tastes good, it tastes good. Tony, you'll like that Las Cis Provincias because the box is super fancy and they're like a $22 cigar. $22 cigar? Yeah. Let me see the box. Right. I don't I don't have it right now, but they're a 10 count. They're going to be a 10 count box. What's it called? L Las and then Six Provincias. Espinosa. Ready? Stained glass? Yeah, they're, they're a really cool box. And they're, each one's in an individual coffin. The one I'm looking at is not individual coffins. Well, the new, the new one is. I'll keep it in my mind once, once you have it. <laughs> yeah, because I ordered, I ordered those. The Warhead 7, the 601 Black, and... Are they like 10 count? Yeah, it's a 10 count box. Uh, uh, I'll consider to buy one. That's actually not bad. They're pretty. They're pretty. Pretty. Just finished the box press at Wow's, and it's pretty good. At yeah. Wow's? The, 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 the one that you liked. The box press. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so far I tried you know, just the, you know, the, the sample pack. I tried up to that, I mean, up to that box press. But that box press is probably the best out of them. I don't know. Yep. Well, at least you know which one is good, which one's bad, right? So. Well, since Albert, since you like that uh, the short filler, I actually because of a nice deal, I'm gonna have some of those. So, and they're a very, very good price. Oh yeah. <laughs> Today, my mother-in-law was in. Uh, um, she was talking about like how those uh, cigar business stay in, in business. If people only smoke so much, you can only smoke so much a day. I was like, you don't know how many people, how, how much people smoke. Some people will smoke, you know, 10, 15 a day if they have to. Some mm -hmm. people will smoke one a day. Now, even at one a day, you are 365 a year. Yeah. Yeah, that's like 15 boxes. So, people don't realize. Cigar, I mean, I forgot who told me this. Like, you know, before they smoke cigarette, and now they, they quit cigarette for a healthier alternative, which is cigar. And they realize that they spend more money. <laughs> Do you need anything else? Something to drink or anything? But, you know, to be really honest with you, money cannot buy health. So if I can, I, I can spend a little bit more money knowing that I'm not going to die from doing this hobby, I'm okay. Yeah. I, I'm willing to spend that few, few more dollars. To be really honest with you, and enjoy it, and enjoy the, 
the uh, what's behind this hobby. I mean, the cigar itself is not the hobby, right? You can lit up a cigar by yourself all day, every day. That's not a hobby. You're just smoking the cigar. Behind it is the people that you meet, conversation that you have, uh, and at the time to yourself. That's what cigar is really about. Cigar itself doesn't mean anything, right? You can have a million cigar in your house. It doesn't mean shit if you don't do that. It's a social hobby, right? I, I would think that it's a social hobby. You smoke so that you can meet other people who smoke. You can talk about a cigar, uh, and, and, and it's like an icebreaker almost. Oh, yeah. right? It's like, hey, why are you smoking? Right away, that is an icebreaker. You get to know the person, right? And you, and you know that the person that you're about to talk to will at least spend one hour for themselves a day smoking a cigar. So you, you kind of get to meet people who does similar stuff as you. And then they tend to have hobbies that will allow them to smoke cigar, right? I mean, obviously, you're not going to smoke cigar and doing things, doing hobbies that you can't smoke cigar with. True. Right? And, and I think this might be a bad example. Like, if you're a chef, you probably wouldn't smoke a cigar while you're working. <laughs> But yeah, it, the, 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 the cigar hobby is not smoking cigar. It's use the cigar as a catalyst for you to meet more awesome people, to talk about things, to have great stories to talk about, uh, to hang out, and to relax. That's the hobby. That's the cigar itself. It's just like having a dinner or having a coffee in a coffee shop. It, it's not a must. I mean, when you sit in the cigar shop, you don't have to have a cigar. But the point is to know the people in there, sure. right? And, and and I think it's a lot of people does it wrong because they will go to a cigar shop, put out their freaking big headsets. <laughs> and put up their iPad and just sit there for three hours. Please don't do that. You got to go to a cigar shop. Talk to people. I bet cobblers are smart, will smoke cigars. Mm -hmm. They do. I've seen it. Yeah. I can see that. So Tony's, yeah. got, a, Tony's he's gotta, got his own neighborhood cobbler of his one. So if you got to go to a cigar shop, talk to people, hang out there, find a friend. Right? Because I can understand, oh, I can't smoke at home, so I go over there, but, I, you know, but if you got to go over there, why are you on iPad? Right? You gotta do an iPad, sit on your like outside your house and just smoke it. Right? Like, don't 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 sit there and just like that for three hours. That's kinda of pointless. Right? The part the part of the hobby is to be able to do that. Smoking alone is actually not that fun. It's like drinking alone. It's actually not that fun. If you drink alone you have a problem. I do drink alone. Well, you know, the only thing is, is that you might, what? Say that you again? might, might be like, um, I mean, there's, there's, there's times you want to smoke alone, right? Like, uh, yeah, but the, the, the last time you want to smoke alone, you will do it at home. Uh, if you don't have air conditioning outside, you don't. Well, you don't need air conditioning in the backyard. If, if it's hot, you do. Yeah. If you live where I do, yes, you do. <laughs> But yes, so, but also, Michael, you don't smoke outside? Have. I do, and I'm sweating my ass off when I get on with you guys at set. Yeah, and then, and, you'll learn to, and then you can learn to go to places where you can chat with people and smoke. But I'm just saying, I'm just telling you what people do. They, yeah, yeah, but I'm they saying that. The AC and all but that. at that time, you're smoking cigar for the sake of, I, I want to smoke a cigar. Not ex exercising a hobby. Well, Yeah. Like, you're not using the most potential of what this hobby can bring to you. It's like me putting together a Gundam kit, and I literally just break it apart and put it together and call it a day. That will still get it done. It will still be completed. But it wouldn't look nearly as good. It's not, you know, it's not a finished product. It's, you're not using the most of it. You're not enjoying it. You're just putting it together, so. The cigar community is like camping community. Everyone is about gathering and community. Yeah, it's, it's that, that's how it is, right? Meet people, get to know people, right? 
Why join a group that you're not gonna meet people, right? Why go to a cigar lounge where all those people are available and there to tell you a better story than what you can read on your tablet? Like whatever that you're reading on tablet, someone there can probably tell you, to tell you about it. And you always have some kind of one upper there. Huh? You always have somebody that's some kind of one upper will be there. Yeah, some people will like to show off their story. About, like story. you know. It's like, oops, I dropped my I, I dropped my Rolex. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. There's this guy that ha that works for a, a cigar company. I'm not gonna say who it is, but he's <laughs> he's, he's a he's a he's a fucking one upper with everything. <laughs> Yep. He'll be all right, Juan. He'll be all right. Yeah, boot camp, right? That's, that's a life, have, lifetime worth of story to tell. He'll that's come awesome. back and he'll be saying, sir, every sentence. It's only one way to address me, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. I, I don't even think there's got to be no, sir. It's just yes, sir. <laughs> I try to speak to people in the lounge. If they are on their phone, tablet, not going to happen. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, why are they doing so important that they'd rather look at their phone? I mean, yeah, everybody's going to check their phone to see what's going on, what time it is, and whatever. whatever. But, yeah, I was go talk to someone. Every once in a while, I'll be in the lounge, and there's, like, everybody's on their phone. And I'll, I'll ask them, I'm like, are y'all texting each other? <laughs> just to kind of. <laughs> Believe it or not, well, my... you, can just, you can just lift your head up and talk, you know. You don't have to text each other. You know, you're sitting right next to each other. Right? I, I cannot imagine Michael go to a lounge and just sit there and smoke by himself and not talking to anybody. Right. Sorry, what was it? And I, I cannot I cannot imagine Michael does that. Like just sit there and his tablet in a lounge and not talking to anybody. We're doing it right now, right? You are in a lounge, not talking no. to anybody? In a room with somebody else in here and I'm not Michael. <laughs> But you're talking to someone. You're talking to someone, phone. right? You're talking to someone. Yeah. No, you're talking to him. You're talking to Brendan. Yes, I am. We're making jokes, is why. <laughs> Brendan's working. Brendan's inputting this stack of orders that he's got. But here's the thing, though. A lot of people that's in the lounge that need to like kind of show off forgot that if they can afford this hobby, so is everybody else. <laughs> exactly. They forgot about that, right? Like I, I go to a lounge and you know maybe someone's there that's really wealthy, but at the same time it's like we're doing the same hobby. That's like oh, why you try to say it, right kind of thing. You're doing the same thing. I don't care how rich you are. If you go to Walmart, you're still in, you're still part of the crowd with the Walmart, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you know, for them to say hey, look at my Rolex, like and like. Really? No, uh, because I, I only hang out with Walmart people that are in the electronics area. I don't mess with the other people in the other areas, man. <laughs> we got our own group, man. I don't know. I, you know, I. It's... We have our own clique. I don't feel any different when I go to the lounge, and I feel like the people there has a lot of good stories. So, I love to go, uh, and and you know, and and but, uh... really. When you're sitting down over there, how wealthy you are, how how professional you are, how big you are, doesn't matter. I mean, do you think it matters if like I'm gonna sit down and smoking, and Obama comes in and smoke? He's just he's there. He's just one of the person that enjoys the same place. Like we're in the same place, one thing I'm doing, right? With exception, yeah, I mean he is the president, so it kind of has to show him some respect. But other than that, you know, we we have a guy. We had a guy show up. And, well, he, he came around a lot. But he was a shop liar, and uh, everything he said was a lie, man. And like for a while, he was he, well. For a long, well, he still believes it that he was. He was. Um, he played football for the uh, Patriots. So he worked for. He, uh, he, he has. He has two Super Bowl rings. They're bouncing around in the back of his truck. <laughs> It's like if there was something going on, he had done it, and he, he could do it better. It's, it's more than a one-upper, though. I know what you're talking about, Michael, like a one-upper. Oh, this yeah. guy would be like, 
just flat out the spin the spin yarns, man. It's crazy. That's when you had to bring the, the different one up or he cannot one up you on. Like for me, I'm like I'm better oh, Asian than you. Oh, it wasn't possible. It wasn't possible, man. He cannot be a better Asian than me because he's not Asian. Whatever. <laughs> Brandon had a good point, Albert. Yeah, there you go. By one up story with another guy that was a one upper that he's was a, more of a one upper. He's a more one upper. Uh, James uh, just rolled out of bed, turned on his computer, and he's like, "All right, he's like, what, what is going on right now? Why do we have a live on Sunday?" Uh, I, wanted to... I, I knew you said you were going to have a live, but you know, you didn't say when you was going to have it, so I didn't we, know we when. We did you have get a live up. yesterday. I know, but you said you said earlier in Discord, "Hey, should I do a live?" Yeah, and then you let it go so. at that, and so I didn't know what time to get up, so. Somebody's got a case of the grumpies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I could have got up an hour and a half ago. Here's case the, the Mondays. If anybody want to go to the lounge, believe me on this. I tried this one time. If you're one of those guys that doesn't talk to anybody, go into the lounge. You just say, hey, everybody, how you, how's everybody doing? You'll feel so much better for the rest of the day. <laughs> right? Just say hi to everybody. You will have so much more happiness because everybody's going to say hi back. It just feel like a feel like a celebrity. It's great. So, what days do we go live? We usually go on Wednesday and Saturdays, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Sometime a couple minutes late. Ah, Scott's yeah. on to you, James. What? Scott's on to James. What did Scott said? Scott said there are black socks and sandal wear. Oh, it's actually, it's actually no, white James, socks. are you serious? You wear sandals with socks on there? Yeah, truly. Why? Because that's just the way you do it over here. <laughs> all right. How many Velcro straps do y'all have on your shoes? How many what? <laughs> Velcro straps do you have on your shoes? I don't have any on my shoes. Why? Yes! <laughs> You guys did a live for five. No, seven seconds. It was seven seconds. Okay. Yeah, that was disappointing. By the way, it's not my fault. I don't have internet in my in my hotel. <laughs> Some fancy socks you tried to show off. That's why. No, you should never wear socks with a sandal. The point of sandal is so that you can expose your foot. <clears throat> no, that's not the point of sandals. Then what is the point of sandals? Or the sandals because they're more comfortable than shoes. That is not true. James? Yeah. The point of sandals is to walk in the sand. That's why they're sandals. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't want to wear your socks in the sand. Yeah, we don't have that much sand over here in Germany, but we do have Birkenstocks, you know. Birkenstocks? Yeah. One <laughs> of the most, sandals. One Those of are the best made sandals in the they're world. They're still sandals. Those are like, if you're like a, a vegan, like a real true vegan, and you're a hippie, you wear Birkenstocks. Yeah. You think uh, yeah. well, you're German, you wear them. You wear them a lot, yeah. Oh, here's the thing. German. I order a pair of one of those Birkenstock style shoes, like multiple strap stuff. My wife actually made me return it. Good, because they're ugly. I'm sure. No, I bought it because it was limited, so I was buying it not to wear it. She's like, "That thing's ugly as hell. Return it." I was like, "Oh." oh. Tony, on every cigar that I get, I'm gonna put limited on the box so they don't buy it. And you know that might happen. <laughs> I know. That's why I said that. The order's limited once. Do you think sandals are like sell sandals? What? what sandals? Do they sell sandals? Maybe. Sandals, yeah, sandals. You think they have like calling, special calling sandals? Included? You lost me. Okay, so the sandals resort. It's all inclusive, right? <laughs> so would the sandals be included when you go to sandals or would they be an add-on that you have to buy of course you had to buy it all inclusive means food and entertainment See, there you go that's all we wanted to know that's literally defined all inclusive sandals, really means it, it, makes sense they, it makes sense that they, they would include sandals i'm just saying point of sandals apparently to show off your socks fuck <laughs> did i just hear fuck yeah no not for me <laughs> Fox. Fox. Okay, Fox. I was like, what? What did I hear? 
Yeah. Uh, Albert, Albert mumbles. <laughs> I didn't say it. Sometimes I see people wear sandals in the winter. Yep, that would be James. No, actually, I can understand people wearing sandals in the winter. That's fine. You know, if a lot, if their foot sweats a lot, they want a little cold air. You know, whatever. Yeah, just have to wear. It no. The thing is with sandals is that mostly they're made with a, a footbed that fit that is supportive for your feet. You can buy any shoes with footbed that supports your feet. No, not like the sandals are. There's one very famous guy named Shows. 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 Doctor. Shows. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah. You and guys and, and he makes things much. that will conform to your foot with gels. You guys, yeah, you guys have got... That's, that's probably James's neighbor. It's Dr. Schultz. Never mind. I won't even get involved with that shit with you guys. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Do you think the doctor has a dot on it? Like Dr. Pepper, it doesn't have a little dot? Because Dr. Pepper is really not a doctor. <laughs> right. Is Dr. Schultz really... Is he really a doctor? Or? He's, a sh he's a foot doctor. So it's it's a podiatrist. What's what's Linda Hosen? Later Hosen. Yeah. Socks and sandals, and beer bit it. Uh, I can I, I can I can don't speak German. Sorry. <laughs> Later Hosen actually means leather pants. Okay. Okay. Leather pants, socks, and sandals. What's uh, what's and beer bit? Uh, one beer, please. Ein Ein means one. Yeah, I just can't read it. So I, I, I know what I is. I just don't know that's how he's spelled. <laughs> yeah, beer, beer is spelled like that. B I E R, beer. Okay. Signal socks here at the camper tonight. Oh, oh yeah. Didn't, uh, I think Steve did tell me that he was going down to the camp. Whatever. But yeah, signal socks. That's okay. So long as you can get on, it's all good, right? It's all good. So, um, yeah, shoes. You know, if you wear a full cover shoes, you wear socks. If it's not full cover, you don't. That was kind of the point. Ventilations, right? You know why? Yes. You, you know why you wear a sock when you wear shoes? Because it's gross if you don't. Because it's supposed to absorb the excess moisture and stuff. So when you have an open shoe, you don't really wear socks because you don't need something to. Absorb why do you not need that? Why do you not need it? You think your feet don't sweat just because you don't wear socks? No, no, no. You, your feet does sweat, and that's why an open shoe is. It actually have enough ventilation. You don't need something to suck yeah. in those things where it will start to smell for the rest of the people. James, yeah. it's a metric system thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Obviously, because... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's all pissy because he just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's because you guys, you know, have no idea about why that Birkenstocks even exist. So we're at, you, you started to tell us, and then, but anyway. Well, they're designed because they fit your they, they fit your foot properly, and you know the sole of your foot properly, and give your foot support. You're saying as if all the other shoes does not ever make a uh, make a sole that fits your foot properly. These are specially. Yeah, never mind. Okay, what is the, the stock? If you ever actually wore Birkenstocks and you would understand that they just fit different than normal shoes do. I, I used to work in a shoe store that actually sells them. Yeah, well. And we would not put socks on. They actually, Birkenstocks were made by an orthopedic doctor, you know, to And they said that foot. you should wear socks with it? No, because they're made out of leather, and if you don't wear socks, your feet sweat and exhort, and, and you end up having to buy a new pair of Birkenstocks every year. Okay. All right. Uh, have a good night, Jason. Ankle socks, no show socks. Knee high socks. Well, guys should never wear knee high socks unless you're in the military of some sort. Um, <laughs> Especially if it has like two stripes on them. All right. Uh, That's like Studio 54 stuff there, man. Ankle socks should be always worn with sneakers. Right, no show socks should wear always wear with loafers. All right, so there is a w way to wear socks to it, and then if it's dress shoe socks, I'm... never wear white, dude. I wear no shows with my sneakers because I only wear low tops, yeah. But then they will they will start to slide down. 
I buy women on purpose. <laughs> yeah, see, that's wrong. Okay, the point no, is, I'm no show just, socks okay. is actually for loafers because I no, guys, to wear no loafers guys' socks go from nine to twelve when you buy them, right? Size nine to twelve. No, I wear fourteen. I, I'm just telling yeah, you what they are designed for. We have a whole thirteen to fifteen, brother. Whole line of sizes for guys over here. <laughs> right. So I, I got. I'm I, just. I'm just telling you what they were designed for. Ankle socks for sneakers, loafers, and no show socks. That's what they are designed for, because the proper display of them. You having if you are having a socks on the, on the loafer, it looks weird. So. So the next thing James is going to tell us that he wears white socks with his dress shoes. Please don't. No, I don't. But Damn I do it. wear no. I do wear Damn. no show socks right. with my the, dress shoes. The 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 dress shoes. The rule is never wear white. Always have design. That's for dress shoes. I always wear really short socks. Even with your dress shoes? Yeah, because I can't deal with the the See, tightness yeah. around of the sock around my upper part of my leg anymore. Because of my, no, so my you problem. say anymore, so that because only happened my, recently. Because, no, because of my nerve problems with my legs, I got uh, if it. But it's right now, right? You're doing you're doing it right now, all of necessity. Yeah, I'm but when you're in the military, says, when yeah, they asked you to wear boots, you didn't wear a socks that's that short. No, no, no. Okay, okay. It's okay. just out of necessity. It's just because of medical trouble. Wear uh, socks and cut the toes socks, off socks. It's the, only, it's the only socks I can stand to wear for. Yeah, very no, long. That, that's different story. I mean, if you're in necessity, that's a different story, right? I'm talking about basic rule of how socks I should be wearing. Yeah, I understand that, but you know, sometimes we wear socks for necessity. Yeah. <laughs> I wear ankle socks all the time, even with boots. That's not gonna be comfortable. It's not. Yeah, because ankle socks tend to have a plush neck, and that's gotta squeeze in when you're wearing boots. So. Mine don't have a plush. Ones over here don't all have a plush neck. Well, they're supposed to, so that holds your ankle. It holds it up below all, your ankle, so it doesn't. But they don't all. But they, but they don't all have it, so. Yeah. Well, they're supposed to. There's normal ones that are just short. No, no, the normal <laughs> ones should have. Plush neck, the not normal one don't. Okay, you're trying to tell me what's normal socks over here, but you haven't ever shopped for socks over here in Germany. <laughs> Here's the thing: everybody's oh. socks is made by one of my cousins somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, just want, I just want to tell you: when you go shopping for low-cut socks over here, about half of them are plush and half of them are not. <laughs> they are not half of them. Most of them has plush neck for a reason. No. No, there's not most of them over here, okay? I'm just trying to tell you. <laughs> uh, uh. All right. So, you a sneaker app. guy, I can't win. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I get the one with extra cushion. Those, yeah, the, the cushion is supposed to hold it so that it, it doesn't sink all the way down to the sneaker when you wear them. That's why you wear ankle socks because the sneaker ends where your ankle is. But if you wear high top, don't wear ankle socks. They, they actually no, press down on your nerve. I think the ankle thing is so you have a little ankle butter. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> they, won't, they won't see the deep in so easily. That's what the high top shoes are for, Albert. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, every sock <laughs> has a function. And, and then I'm really into it because I'm, I'm a shoe guy. I actually buy a lot of shoes and socks. I personally probably have more than 100 pairs of socks. All different. That's 200 socks, man. Wow, you can do math. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, you know, there, was a guy, uh, there was a guy on um, Shark Tank that was, Ooh. his idea was to sell three socks. Because somebody always lose one? I remember yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I even know how we it. lose one sock. I, I have that problem too. Like my wife will wash it, and don't, when in the end of washing it, you try to pair them, right? There's always one missing somewhere. It's like what? Yeah, the hell? that's what I. That's what I was gonna say. That's not 200 socks, Albert. That's very max 190 socks. <laughs> no, if I if because all my all my socks are different, so if I miss one, I had to throw the other one away, because I, I don't yeah. have another one to pair with it. That's why I always mismatch my socks. Like just lower the expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
And that way you have, you, you know, you never miss socks. I, I don't even think, if it's no toe, it's not socks anymore. No what? toe is considered a foot sleeve. There's no toed socks? Yeah, 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 yeah like foot sleeve for, for people who injure their foot. The compression there's, socks. Yeah. There's, there's also there's also socks that have five toes. So. Yeah, those are toe socks. That's different. That's for, for people to wear those ninja shoes. No, the, these are like They're usually multi-colored. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's one exception. Here's one exception. Here's one exception. Here's one exception. In Japan, kimono wear wear white socks, but because those slipper that they wear, it has toe on it, so they will wear one with one toe open. It's uh, a proper dress code. So. Is that so you can make toes? Huh? Is that Did so you can make toes or what? No, no, because you wear the slippers, right? And then you that has a strap right in the middle where it goes right between your big toes and the ah and turtle. Shoes. Turtle slippers. You, you know why those toad socks have have co different colored toes, right, Albert? You put the right one in the right one. Or... No, they, yeah, they, there's some only, people, only some way, people way like Martin though. Which which toe to put? You know, to put which. <laughs> but let me tell you why there's an exception for that. All right, people wear kimonos, tend to have to walk into people's house, so they don't want to do barefoot. That's why they wear socks, in that perspective. Even if, even if they wear sandals with their kimono. Yeah. They have to. Guys wear wear. Uh, send those with their kimono, and uh, I, I mean, and, and it's, it's a dress code. So okay, it's so considered wear, rude if you so wear, wear that proper the... and walk into somebody's pure, nice, shiny wood floor that's been so wiped they... by hand. So they wear. So they socks. wear. So they wear socks with their sandals. That's the only exception. It's it's a dress code, uh, so... but that's different. That's a dress code. Don't they know what sandals means? Actually, they're not called sandals though. There's actually a different name for that. Yeah, they gave it a different name so they could do it. No, because the, you're not supposed to walk on sand on those either. They are not meant to be walking on sand. It's like, these aren't sandals. These are something else. And so, oh, it's okay then. All right. <laughs> yeah, they're Birkenstocks, okay? They're not sandals. I think, I think we're tiptoeing around this conversation. <laughs> no, no, yeah, here, let me show you how they look like so you guys know what I'm talking about. They're actually not sandals, but it's called sandal because there's no other English word for it. They're kind of like clogs with straps. Yeah, they're, 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 they're wood bottoms, just two pieces yeah. of wood. Oh, so they're like the Holland shoes. Clogs, called clogs. We'll call it guitar, so. Holland shoes, really? All right, so I'll, I'll show it to you guys so that's <laughs> like you know what, it, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Holland, yeah, Holland shoes. <laughs> if you say Holland shoes, people know what you're talking about. Holland yes. day shoes. Oh, those are thongs. <laughs> hey, hey thongs don't insult the Japanese else. culture. So yeah, they're thongs technically not sandals. Else. You don't wear them in sand. So <laughs> this you'll wear socks on. You wear those on those those wood patios and stuff. So that you... no, you will not wear down wood. So you can fit in, so, yeah, because those in things you fit boards. in between the slots, you know, in the boards, yeah. I mean, that's the that's the that's the things they they wear, and then it's you can't just, run fast though. You, you don't run. People wear yeah, these. Never had to run. Yeah, you're walking. People now wear we these why. things are rich enough to not have to ever run. Now we know why the Japanese chicks walk slow with those things, huh? So they don't get stuck in the boards and. The... No, uh, Japanese women who wears those are usually mama sons in the restaurants and stuff like that. They slide their foot. They, they will never. Their their kimono is so tight. There's no way to run. <laughs> nice. So just put it out there. I mean, that is kind of different. So, what about yeah. socks or clock? Okay, here's the thing. Ready? <laughs> should you should never own a clock. There we go. Done. <laughs> don't own clogs. Don't own Crocs. None of that crap. I saw your Crocs collection when I was at your house. <laughs> Bullshit. I mean, you got Crocs, Crocs with the with the fur in it, man. That's kind of fun. Yeah, Crocs I mean, with fur. The Crocs with the fur. Full close. Look at that. That's how Matt <laughs> broke his glass. Oh gosh. <laughs> now I just put it out there. I mean, there, there. Obviously, it's different kind of stuff. So I call it slipper because there's no English word for that. I mean, I don't know. Oh, that's cool. not really a slipper. There's like there's like Crocs with wool in them. I guess you will consider that as a slipper, not not a. Well, it's, like a sock. it's like a built-in sock. 
No, no, no. What I'm talking gonna, about I, that, I, the Japanese yes. one. The Japanese one I just show you guys, that's considered you as guys, a slipper. You guys do know what Crocs were, I, were made for, right? Made for working, made for working in the garden. Yeah. Louisiana. Ah. So you should never wear socks with it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Uggs, I don't own any Crocs, so I don't know. Uggs, Uggs, you're supposed to wear socks with it. Uggs, they're, they're ugly. That's why they're called that. Don't ever buy them. Well, actually, they're very comfortable. I wear them. Yeah, but they're still ugly. That's, where I, that's what I wear when I go like uh, uh, plow the snow. Um, and I can I, tell you that's a bad idea because it'll make you slip all over the place. That thing has no grip on anything. Here's more, Tony, because you own Uggs. I can't take you seriously. I'm telling you, it's like, oh, wow, no, okay. I thought they were only made for women, but that's okay. Hey, I don't have any other thing to, to blow the snow without being cold, so. Moon boots. What the hell is a moon boots? Uggs. Moon boots are boots that are made for blowing the snow. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, there we go. Big, gigantic Kugo. Moon boots. Who's that comedian that wears Crocs all the time? He says, "Lord, I apologize." I don't that. think I don't think people wear moon boots to to blow snow. That those are snow boots that are meant to go on the snow, snow mountain and stuff like that. They're only they're, they're slip on they're slip on boots that are warm, and that's what you put on when you go out and do the snow. No, 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 no. Yeah. Then I might as well wear my like snowboarding gear. It doesn't. It's not. It's not. It's not meant for snowboarding. No. Not that'd that Augustus mental for snowballing, but it's still the same thing. That'd be entertaining if you wore it, though. I don't. I don't even own a pair of those things. Moon boots are basically fur-lined galoshes. Okay, that's what they're basically are. With leather on the outside. No, well, they have, there's they all don't kinds have leather of different. On it. They are like there's all there's all kinds of different different surfaces. Of, most of them over here, at least, are kind of a waterproof material. I cannot imagine myself yeah, that's why wearing this. Wear it. That's why they, people wear it when they go out shoveling snow. Tony, so, so, don't don't move to Germany, man. You're not going to enjoy it. Yeah, it seems like I'm that. Because you, cause you I, would have to learn a whole different reason for wearing different wearing stuff. Yeah, yeah, I can't. No, yeah, I, that, I'll, that go, I'll follow the rest of the world. You know, I, I'm I'm saying I, I understand not not all the European um, fashion makes sense. You know, I don't understand why people wear a, a you know bag that's completely transparent. I, I don't understand it. So that's a, the European thing. I think. I just Tony, Tony will go to Germany and be the dirty American. <laughs> Play <laughs> Americans now! <Play. laughs> oh gosh, uh, they have heated snow boots now. They do, but like the snow boots are not flexible enough for me to do things. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're snow boots. Oh, you see. Like when I wear my like, when I go to ski resort, out any boots I wear, I can't walk around comfortably. So I'm wearing my camel Crocs right now. Oh my god, camping Crocs. That's that's so Scott. <laughs> oh, what's that Scott? Okay. Anyways, yeah, shoes different function, socks different function. Please wear them correctly. Uh, uh, if you're in America, if in Europe, I guess I can't say anything about it. I never try to wear anything weird that's not part of the rule anyway and, and frankly tony that's how you can always spot an american in europe man it's, it's so easy i can always spot american in europe yeah you can yeah you can spot american they can spot you they know you're american oh yeah i i guess that's how they tell because sometimes it's like hey if you speak like proper english with like british accent how do they can tell that you're still in america i guess this is the shoes just the clothes and stuff, how you wear stuff, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of fashion, I don't get. I, I mean, I look, and my wife watched a fashion show, and she's like, look at all those beautiful things. I was like, not one of them will wear them out to the street. <laughs> right? Have you guys watched those fashion shows? Not one thing you can wear to the street without somebody calling the cops on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Yeah, but I think it. versions of that stuff come out, though, right? Say, say what? Versions of it come out, right? No, none of those comes out. None. Those are concepts. They are, they are, they are fashion. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. So like a version of that concept would come out. No, none of the version of that concept comes out. I don't know about that. I think I've seen some stuff. 
that I watched those fashion yeah. shows. I, I mean, not by choice, but I watched them. But, right. But they will not come out. What happens is those fashion uh, gives you an idea to buy something of that color, well, of that shade of the the the, the, the Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, going. That's what I'm kind print. of going. For. But that's it's not that I, version. You will not see somebody wearing that kind of stuff out. No, no, no. That's they will use the fabric, though. They will use the fabric. But Tony, that's what I mean. That you're not going to get that exact thing, but you're going to get some some derivative of that. Well, yeah, but then you wouldn't be a version of that. Using the same fabric doesn't make it a version of something. Right? So, But yeah, but the, none of those things you can wear out. Well, they will give you the idea of the fashion, of the cloth, of the shades, of colors. Victoria's Secret one is the same thing in the store no victoria's secret except I buy victoria's secret i know all right you know you know how many years my wife's like go find me those wings i want those wings no not the wings not the wings all right so and i don't even know why they choose those models to be victoria's secret model because none of them has boobs but anyways Check my boobs are bigger than their boobs michael michael's got the vegas showgirl thing behind him yeah. <laughs> from the <laughs> that's right <laughs> It looks like a hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> only, it's the only way I can. There's a reason why they no longer do, do the Victoria's Secret show. Because the stuff that you see there, they don't sell it. Oh, it looks so pretty. Well, they're not going to have that. Sorry. So, But like I say, I, well, my boob is bigger than those boobs. On the, we weren't talking yeah. about what, the, what we were saying we like is not uh, the clothes. So I'm just saying. I don't even like that. That's what I'm saying. Those women on there are like next to flat chested. I don't know why they choose them. So, like my wife, I'm many times like, hey, your boob is bigger than theirs. I, I know. So <laughs> so send, they don't want send, you to know. Send all your hate mail to Tony at com. <laughs> Actually, that would be wrong one. No, I, I will not receive that. That would be okay. <laughs> I will not receive that. That's fine. But it's true. I mean, they're choosing those models because they're tall and they're slim. But they're and they not can the best kick really to sell bras. And they can kick really high, yeah. I've never seen them kick on those high heels, but that's okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was forced that's... to watch those you know, all the time. So, yeah. Because I always have to have like an opinion to my wife's clothing selection. So I'm kind of like, I have to watch them. Yeah, not good. Anyways. Whew. What else am I missing? What else am I missing? Well, we covered a lot of ground, man. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I got on. Jeez, we uh, talked about shoes, socks, pants, boots, uh, and high and, and high kicking. Yeah, we were talking about proper progress. dress code. You know, kind of thing. So proper dress code. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the proper dress code from where, you know, because every country's got their own proper dress code. There's a proper, different proper dress code in Europe for suits? Yeah. Yeah, of course it probably is. So what is the proper dress code in Europe for suits? You're asking the wrong guy, brother. <laughs> I don't wear suits, man. <laughs> yeah. I think that, uh, you know, the, actually the proper dress code from the world for suits, I actually, actually came from Europe. So whatever the Europe is using for proper dress code is the proper dress code here. Well, that'd be Italy, not Germany. Yeah, yeah but that's still Europe. It'd probably be France and England. <laughs> the England ones has gotta a different wear sense different, of got to wear a different, a different suit coat to every occasion. Yeah, I have suit, I have sports jacket, trench coats, all kind of stuff just to fit the proper dress code. So. But, you know, I, I would suppose most people would have to go like a full out suit anyway. So I, I don't suppose that will work anything. But if you ever run into that situation, open up this episode. And you know exactly how to wear your socks. Not in Europe. Not in Europe. Whatever way that you want to. No. Nah. It's only in America that they get uptight about whether you wear socks or not with your sandals. In China, too. Uh, if you wear your sandal or socks. To a business meeting? <laughs> you just said the wrong thing. Anyways, who's wearing socks and sandals to a business meeting? <laughs> yeah, socks and sandals to a business meeting. You know, actually, sandals, I wear, I wear sandals, sandals to a meeting before. 
I was. Do these sandals fit to my fit to my five hundred dollars suit? You know. No, 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 no. I woke. I went to business meeting with sandals too before. It's hot outside. No one's wearing suits. I go where? Yeah. When Never you mind. go to a, a a meeting that you know it's gonna have like you know tea ceremony and stuff like that, you will just wear what uh, sandals. You just go in the slippers. Yeah. But I will not wear socks. No. You go you go to that building. You go to where they're going, and then you switch off to a slipper, and then you know that way your foot is not completely exposed. Uh, and every every Chinese family has slippers in the house. Because the floor is cold, okay? Um, how long until SSL bourbon infused coffee? I haven't even started yet. I was thinking that if I'm doing that, should I just do a live fee? That's just see that thing drip. <laughs> I don't know. Well, why after Labor Day? What the fuck? I, I don't get that. Yeah, don't, you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Really? Yeah, it's a summer. That's a summer uh, color. I did not know that. Is that real? Is that for real? That is a real thing. Don't wear whites after Labor Day. Kind of like white, like for women, like white shorts, white pants. Or, or to a funeral. Don't wear white to a funeral. That that's not true. If you were you were dressing suits, you were white. Wear a white shirt. No. I just went to a funeral, so yeah, I know I can. No, I was saying don't wear a white suit to a funeral. Come on. No, not a white suit, but white shirt. I say white shirt. Well, nobody cares what's under your black. Yeah, Super. it's under your blood, but you'll still wear white. Don't wear pink. I mean, who's gonna say, "Hey, you came to the funeral, but you're wearing a whitey tidy under"? And don't wear pink. You can, you can wear blue or any color shirt. Dark color, basically. Dark black. Black. Yeah. But yeah, I, I wear white shirt, but the black jacket. So. Uh, the closest I got to suit is dark color, dark color shirt with the black jacket. How about a dress SSL hat, fedora, bowler, Humbert? All right, if you want to wear an SSL hat, this is it. <laughs> oh, God. Pork, pork pie hat. It is, and that's the pr correct turn for this hat. It is called pork pie. Yes, and Albert is absolutely correct on that. Good job. And you can buy that anywhere. Like, um, I just tend to buy it from the same company. That's all. So, what else are we missing? Everybody's done with cigars. Michael is not smoking one, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah, you're at a cigar place. No, yeah. I'm no, at he's in a hotel right now. Room. <laughs> but like, uh, Brendan is not smoking. That's weird. You know, Brendan. Yeah, you're not smoking, Michael. Because we don't. There's no smoking rooms at this hotel. What? Yeah, yeah like you care. Come on, seventy-five dollar cleaning fee is nothing. Do it. Give him a call, not... dude. First thing you do when you walk in, you call up, say, "Hey, this smells like smoke. I'm okay with it." But it smells like smoke. <laughs> well, they got to go in there and try to smell it. No, that's why you tell them you're okay with it. Oh, don't worry about it. They will still come to smell it. <coughs> you had a different color hat on yesterday. Yeah, when I go out, I don't I don't bring this one out. This is the one I have here. It's a show hat. Yeah, it's the one I got talking about. This is the one that I, my dog loves. So I always wear this in the show. But if I'm outside, it's usually a black one, dark brown, uh, gray. Blue with stripes. Uh, I have all different color I wear outside, but this was the one I wear here. But nice observation. That is, I, I am wearing the black one. Like, oh. like black one. Black, black. Right, right here. Black. Anyways. So, I think we're done for today. What do you guys think? Two, two and a half hours? That's not enough to make up for yesterday? Michael probably smoked many cigars today. You know, I think Michael probably smoked not enough today it wasn't enough but i smoked plenty yeah i mean and, and, and michael's going to a show he had to she, he should do minimum of 10. well i had to smoke cigars because it's all this new stuff so i can tell you guys how good it is so you can buy it how good are they great which one did you try uh actually i smoked two of those azulejos i had one of the las seis provincias uh what the hell is that Actually, I think I, I asked the wrong question. The question should be, which one that you're not going to carry tastes absolutely horrible in the show? The new Esteban Carreras Chupacabra. 
Didn't somebody man mention that earlier? It's like, why the one I use smoke one? You say it was, no. it was Taylor Wilson. Yeah, I, it's it's. It, I did not enjoy it. You did not enjoy it. No. That's fair. What's it taste like? It tastes like shit. Oh, yeah, here we go. So yeah, now you guys like know. Hey, somebody, you know, I was at the store and they had one of those like $750 Gurkha. Did you buy it? No, they were like, oh, you'll absolutely enjoy it. Everybody's like, no, he won't. <laughs> yeah, I actually somebody... enjoyed that Gurkha ghost yeah, the other day. So. Uh, yeah, see, I'm, a con I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm afraid of the ghost. <laughs> Yeah, 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 definitely don't want my one. You know, I will try to negotiate. It's like, what would I get if I get one of those? If I buy one of those? <laughs> the guy literally ghost. said, if you buy one of those, you get to choose any of the Gurkha here. Wait, I'll give you one for free. I was like, no. <laughs> the Gurkha ghost is a strong cigar, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was a very good experience. I mean, I, here's the thing. If any members was thinking, oh, I don't know, somebody's doing a small me, like, you know, a couple of people is going to be there, and then you're thinking whether or not you want to show up, you should always try to show up. And, 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 and even if it's a small gathering, you got to have so much fun, and the, the, the trip will be worth it. You know, I don't, I don't care if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 4 hours. It's got to be worth it, and, and you yeah, always got to remember it. We had uh, Jason came to Dallas one time, and um, we met up with Martine, and Jason brought his... Uh, friend or his boss or his boss's husband or something like that. I forget what it was, but it was, it was a darn good time. I, I still remember that. That was a good time. That's just four of us. Three of us. Michael, like I was telling you earlier, did, did you ask Brendan, did he know that the, the chrome one is thicker and bigger than the small, uh, than the, the black one? The, the chrome cutter is, is thicker and heavier than the black one. They said they they said they tested them at when they were at a meeting in Pennsylvania yesterday. Oh, here's my black one. And it cuts better. It cuts better to too. Yeah. yeah. It's the same blades. No, it's not. It's not. Everything is. Oh, Where's my black one? Here. It, it is the 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 chrome one is just a tad bigger. No, it is. It is thicker. Yeah, I, don't, I, haven't looked, I haven't actually looked at them both. It's heavier and it cuts better. We tested. We, we were there testing it. it, it I've been using this one the whole time I've been here. So. Yeah. This one is hell a lot better. So what that means is we have to, we're going to have to make more with chrome. So in the yeah. future, yeah. if you're going to make more of these, it has to be chrome. Because yeah. this now one I, I does cut better. Now I want a couple of the chrome ones, you know. It's like, okay. It, it actually opens with more snappiness too. I'm not kidding. Literally, get a black one and try it, uh, Michael. The the chrome one opens up with more force than the black one. Hmm. Well, maybe that's why I'm using the chrome one mostly now. I don't know. Yeah, here, here, just listen to this, okay? Yeah. That's black. This is chrome. Can we trade it? I don't have any. I can trade it for you. I don't have. I don't if, you would, if you would like to prepay, we can make more. After the FEMA, after the Phoenix show, we need to do a. But I, I, I just noticed thing. that because I tend to use this one more because it does cut better for me. So I tend to use this one more until somebody mentioned it. I was like, because this cuts better. And then we were there to look at oh. it. It's, it's actually bigger. James, next the next uh, project is going to be. A Velcro wallet, SSL wallet. No. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. James he's has redeemed himself just now. He's just trying to get into his graces, James. No, I only use a, a leather wallet. Yes! James has redeemed himself from that socks wearing <laughs> supper thing. No, he hasn't. Oh yeah, no, that's in my book he did. In my book he did. No, no, it'll come up again. I promise. Uh, he did. <laughs> All right. No, no, Val, don't prepay. We're joking. Don't prepay. I, I, we can't feel it. <laughs> we can't feel it. Don't prepay. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, next time if we decide to do it, uh, we probably do it with the lighter thing. If we do the lighter thing, mm -hmm. so they can all print them together or something like that. 
but I don't know. But yeah, the, the chrome one I did realize is better. So, but then I'll just be with the black one. You can be uh, very proud you had the OG one. True. Yeah, because I, I, after knowing that, I'm not going to make any more black ones. So. Just so. And and I and all and people did mention this, okay? And, and I didn't say it. I think somebody else said. It. I think Scott said it, that it worked better than the ninety dollar Zyka one. So I didn't yep. say it. Somebody did. I, I use it. I like I, it. So. Like for life. I can't say it works better or worse than the Zyka one. James. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, I, I, you know, I'm indifferent for me, cause, but then I did use that more often now. I use it more often than my Calibri one, the, the, the V cutter. And it's not because I don't like the Calibri one. It's just that this is just a lot easier to carry. Uh, I like, just just for Brand, you know, I do like using my Lotus cutter, so. I just put it out there. Just put it out there. It's not that I don't like my Colibri. I love to use my Colibri, but this was just easier to carry around a lot of time. You know? Oh, yeah. So, so you know, if not, if we are making the next sign, don't miss your chance because these are made to order. So. Do a V-cutter next time. You want to do a V-cutter next time? We can do a V-cutter. <laughs> I haven't seen a like a good V color that I like as much as this one. To be honest, the, the Viper. Yeah, it looks like a coffin. Yeah. Which one? The Viper looks like a coffin. I'm gonna take a look. Is it in the old uh, catalog or no? Yeah. No. The, uh, oh yeah, the old. Yeah, one. yeah, it's in the it's in the, the yeah it's in the catalog. All right, let me see. Page 18. Brandon said it's on page 18. I don't really know. Something but... about AJ? What? Page 18, you say? Yeah, it's not actually on that page, but we wanted to say that anyways. <laughs> it's not on page 18. Page 18. Exactly. Is not... <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it's not on page 18. <laughs> Let's see. Cutters. Oh, What's it oh, called? Yeah. Viper? Oh. Yeah. I don't like that shape. Oh, the you don't like it? Yeah, looks nice. It's a rubberized finish on it. Uh, no. <coughs> yeah, I don't like that shape. I don't know. It doesn't look that good. Kind of defeats the point. But, That's okay. But lighters. Yeah, lighters. Oh. Definitely lighters. A round V cutter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lighters. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, be nice, Brandon. Be nice. <laughs> lighters, lighters. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, not the, not any of these. Come on. Where are you? Oh, okay. Intrigue. Intrigue. Yeah, the intrigue. So, it, it's funny as it sounds. The intrigue will be cheaper than the cutter. The lighter will be cheaper than the cutter. <laughs> Even though it is bigger, so but yeah, that's something for next year. This year, I think we're done making shit. Barrel asterisk. Oh come on! Don't even start. What? This, don't worry. It's, it's okay. We'll make like a thousand of them. We're making a thousand of them. Are we? Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna buy them all. No. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, you mean the limited ones, Michael? Yeah. These are these are limited. <coughs> Ashtrays, customized, the fucking, it's a, oh, it's a small run of a thousand. Ask Brendan, yeah. okay, for the Voyager Ashtray, for the Voyager Ashtray, the one with the, like, the, like the circle, big ass logo in the center. Yeah. They, yeah. Does, does Alsa have to say Lotus? The Voyager Ashtray, he probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's, it's melamine now, too, on top of that. So it's lighter and cheaper. So it's less money and it's a little bit lighter. Yeah, but it's like it's the this is also I have to say lotus in the bottom. Have to. We can make anything happen. 
You know, if what? I was at bottom says Shadow Smoke Legion and I have a logo on the center, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we just got to order 5,000. Shut up. Seriously. That's a, no, that's, that's dead that's serious. That's dead serious. Then we can't do it. <laughs> exactly. But you want, them, you want them, if it's okay to say Lotus, we can private label that. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. If it says Lotus, we can private label it as long as it's ah! it that way. We just private label the inside of it. Gotcha. Okay. Right, or we can custom can mold something, and you have to order like a couple, like ten thousand of them, and then it's okay. Wait, why does that? That's that's a print on the outside, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not molding anything. The shape's still there. Oh, so we can make custom molded ones. Just put a sticker on the outside of it, man. Here, if you ever want. If you get the chrome one, it's sticker. <laughs> it's not chrome though. It's like uh, it's like uh, like a plastic ish. But it would be. It would be thicker if you got the chrome one. <laughs> I don't know. Last time we talked about ashtray and lighter and something. All the shit all the people said yay, and then when I asked for it, and then nobody says yay. So we'll do we'll do one thing at a time, and then eventually everybody will have a set that way. Yeah, you pick and choose kind of thing, right? Pick and choose. But yeah, lighter is the next one. Lighter is the next one. Yes. And it's a good price on it and all that fun shit. I'm looking at it. It, it, it does look, you know, it does look a pretty good price. I, like I say, it's got to be cheaper than a cutter. Oh, yeah. So, and they're, they're good to use. Oh, fuck, I, I left in my bathroom again. Oh, my. I don't want to do this. I got to get ready to go. Anyway. Yeah, I, I think we're done today. I'm going to go upstairs and then find my lighter in the bathroom and maybe take a bath. So. It's in the bath. It's in the bathtub the underwater. It's not underwater. I can tell you that because I did let the water out last night after I get home. But it might be in the tub somewhere. Yeah, under the suds that's left over. But hey, Michael, did you tell Brendan that I actually dropped my lighter and it still worked in the water? That creek, he dropped it in the tub and it still worked afterwards. Oh, I hear that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I love yeah. that. That that lighter, Ooh. for some reason, you can drop it in the water. Pick it up right away, though. Not like sink it for like two hours, but... Pick up a lighter right away. It will still work. I, I didn't know that it was even a thing, smoking a cigar in the bathtub. Well, you don't have to be in the bathtub. You might be camping or whatever. If you drop in the water, people, pick it up. It still work. How do so many people know that Tony dropped his ladder in the bathtub? Because he told us. Yeah, I told, I told everybody. <laughs> oh, it was on YouTube. That's right. Yeah, it was on YouTube. See, I should, I should come, I should like, you know, get like some sort of sponsorship from Lotus for 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 contesting that it will work after water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it does work. It's it's weird. I was surprised. I was like, oh, when I dropped it, media went through my head. Oh, shit, I have to get another one. All right, I, all right, Tony, I dare you to drop it again to see if it'll still work. I dropped it multiple times after that because I want to give Brendan yeah. shit. He had to make sure he had to make sure that he that it really did work. It wasn't a fluke. Yeah, it wasn't a fluke. No, no, I dropped it multiple times after that so I can make sure to give Brendan shit because that's the one Brendan gave me with the with the with the cigar mechanic logo on it. And then uh, I you know I dropped it one time. I was like, oh, would it still work? And I dropped it again, and it still works. So basically, he was trying to tear it up. <laughs> no, no, no. I just testing it out. Just testing it out. Because before I want to tell you guys something, I want to make sure it's true, right? Like, you know, some, some of you are going to drop it, it doesn't work, then it's a different story. But he's, he's, doing a Samson, he's doing a Samsonite commercial. Samsonite? <laughs> yeah. A Lotus site, yeah, so. yeah. But I'm just saying that it did work, and I can't contest that. It works. So, it works. From how high did you drop it into the water? Yeah, what was the, what was the, uh, I, I, what was the height here? Yeah. Did you measure it each way each oh, time? Uh, it's about a little bit more than a feet. A little bit more uh, than a feet. My, my size feet or your size feet? No, we're not 12 inches. A little bit more than 12 inches. He's <laughs> got more than 12 inches. <laughs> Oops. It's not three plus hours, two hours, 45 minutes. Come on. A foot, okay, a foot. It's a foot. Yeah, you said more than a feet, and I'm like, what the yeah, fuck? because it's more. It's more than a foot. It's it's more than one feet. So you know, it's more than a foot. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, I got it. That makes sense. Right, because anything know. more than one is a feet. So more than one feet. <laughs> In my mind, anything more than one is a feet. Anything one. Were you, is were you standing yeah. up, Tony? 
Tony, were you standing up? No, I was in the top. Oh, That's in why the... I was trying to measure how you know, how much you know, after I landed, I dropped it. So. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I never had to worry about that socks. What was socks to wear? What? Uh, Tony smoking a cigar in the top of bubbles, in one of the calendar pictures. No, uh, I don't use bubbles. I do use bathing salt, but not bubbles. I'm too fat. <laughs> What? Something about fat? He's got a belt that doesn't fit because he's too fat. So, you know. You know, you can always just poke another hole. No, too fat. Like, it doesn't, won't close. I don't. Oh, no, here. I don't, right. have, I don't right. have holes in my belt. If okay. you if you wear a belt that's just under, try to put it on when you're lying down. It will fit. Bro, then I have Dunlap disease and my belly done lap over the belt. <laughs> huh? He said he got Dunlap disease after his belly done lapped over the belt. <laughs> right, if you if you try to put a belt together and it's really tight, you can't do it. Lie down and do it. Because what happens <laughs> when you're lying down, your guts move upward. You have more space. It's one feet too short. <laughs> it's one foot. It's more than a feet. One foot more than a feet. <laughs> you're saying it. <laughs> Scarface was on today. Thought about mentioning Tony in the top smoking a cigar. Wait, did Tony Montana smoke a cigar in the... In the oh, yeah. Place? Yeah, it's a faint... Actually, I think it's a poster, even. Yeah. I didn't even know. I guess it's a Tony thing. I guess it's a Tony thing. How's that? Is it a Tony thing? I think it's a Tony thing. Right? Yeah, look it up, man. I told Bo, I said, I'm going to invite Michael to dinner. <laughs> he goes, I bought a lunch. Yeah. <laughs> look, look it up, Tony. You'll see it. Tony smoking the tub? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna search Tony smoking the top. I hope I, I don't pop up. <laughs> Shitty cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, he had bubbles. I don't have bubbles. Okay. Well, yeah, he had to have bubbles because he didn't want to show his uh, swim trunks. You know, I don't look that cool in my and when I'm doing. It. I look probably like. Oh, Tony, uh, Tony, t Brandon wants to know if he should wear he should wear socks with his loafers. You don't have to. You can't. You have to be no cool. shows. You can't wear your long socks. I can't wear my long socks with my Crocs. <laughs> Crocs? That's not loafer. Yeah. <laughs> Making jokes over here, man. I want to wear my jokes. long socks with my mucklucks. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you even have? Oh, actually, no. He does have long socks. Never mind. I was gonna say that he even have a long sock. He does have long. Yes. Socks. Hey, hey, hey. Hashimoto, if I want chest hair, I can tape some on, okay? I choose to be nice, clean shaven. <laughs> oh, I don't have clocks to this. I don't know. Don't you guys have hot tubs? Anybody have hot tubs at home? No. Yes. Yes? No. Depends on what, whether I have cold water in it or hot yeah, water. Yes, if it. I put hot water in there, the tub No, like hot, hot tub. tub. Well, no, hot tub. You, know, you guys want to know what I'm talking about. Hot tubs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, don't you guys smoke in the hot tub? No. No, really? I don't have a hot tub to smoke in. No, I'm saying if you do have a hot tub, wouldn't you smoke in the hot tub? Oh yeah. Well, so it makes no difference for me to smoke in the bathtub. That's not the only thing I do in a hot tub either. <laughs> I, you know, drinking champagne is fine too. <laughs> yeah, Josh Jones smoke in the hot tub. But Josh Jones smoking the hot tub with a, like one of those like, plastic figure of like you know uh, Oprah in <laughs> there. He's like, oh, hi, babe. <laughs> it reminds me of that that Madagascar. Madagascar. <laughs> it's like, hey, babe. <laughs> Hajimoto smoking the pool, so it's no it makes no difference. Smoke in the water. Besides, actually, Tony, I don't know if I sm <laughs> I don't know if I smoke because I haven't checked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke. If you know where the yeah. guy is, is, if she smokes after sex, and she said she never looked. <laughs> yeah, but why would you compare sex and pool? Uh, it's just a. It's a point. Was a lot better. It's a point. He, word, man. he was thinking word. about that's what he. That's what else he does in the hot tub. <laughs> uh, 
Uh... <laughs> yeah. All right. Fine. Anyway, I think we'll have enough today. Almost three hours. You, you drew this into the after show time, Tony. So. Yeah, you did. You, you crossed over. There's no after show today. This, this, this Sunday show is not a real regular show. So. Anyway, we'll go today. Show. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. It's always the after show. Yeah.